Friday Night Lights tonight, and tonight we are Pusha Studios right here. And no, you're not on some different channel, although my background here is a bit different shade of reddish. Well, it is red. Um, we are in the kitchen tonight. So uh, welcome, welcome. Welcome to our kitchen with Pusha Studios. Uh, uh, Andrew is going to be... Um, joining me probably maybe back and forth uh, as uh, he's uh, um, doing something very interesting that he's going to be talking about uh, when he comes back uh, so for now it's just me but he's going to be popping in and out and today we have a great evening tonight uh, we have amazing guests uh, a family uh, that lives in New Zealand right now, and they are going to be joining us right from New Zealand. It's uh, noontime there. It's Saturday there, although for now, for here, it's Friday. It always feels so weird, um, so mind-blowing that it's Friday here, and it's 8 o'clock, and it's Saturday and noontime in New Zealand, although I know how it works uh, you know, from from science point of view, uh, it's still, I think, our brains can't wrap around the whole concept of being in the same place, but in two different uh, days or, or, or time places, so to say. It's it's quite magical. So, yeah, so they, they are originally from UK, but right now they're traveling through New Zealand and documenting uh, their travels, adventures, and fun times. Um, uh, with their family while they're on their travels. Really amazing channel. Uh, we're going to be talking with all of them, hopefully. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So um, let's see, who do we have today on? Let me just pop out the chat. <laughs> pop you out, guys, and see who do we have here. Fix my hair. I went for a very interesting walk today. I went for a walk by the river, and we have here a bird sanctuary not so far away. Uh, so we went there, and I took amazing pictures, which I hopefully will post through the weekend. Uh, I've seen, for those of you who love watching birds, I've seen uh, baby ducks and baby Canadian geese. Uh, they're right out now. Uh, nesting, some of them still nesting, and some of them just had their little fuzzy babies and ticks and then um i also seen a white and uh gray heron which is quite a um, lucky day too because uh, usually it's very rare to see a white one and it's even where uh, rarer to see both of them uh, at the same time uh, so uh, i seen those today and i captured the picture so hopefully i can share uh, them with you this uh, um, weekend, uh, some of our adventures. You might as well say hi because you can hear that you're there. I don't know how you hiding there. I was coming. I beep, was beep, 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 beep. <laughs> it's coffee time, guys. Okay. <laughs> so I have my husband here for Hello. a moment. How are you? Good to see everybody. Uh, I said that uh, you're gonna you're gonna tell them what you're doing. Oh, we're doing all kinds of fun painting stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> real fun painting stuff. Lots of building a studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're building a new studio, uh, you know, it's a new broadcasting studio, so uh, we're doing right now, right that, and yeah. I'm with you, and Andrew's going to be popping in and out as he's uh, doing the setup, so. Yeah. No, we're just touching up our living room, so. No, I don't know. <laughs> I 
one or the other. <laughs> well, uh, therefore, that's why we are here yeah. in the kitchen tonight because our living room is a big mess right now. Yeah. Everything is upside down, the oh. furniture, the couches, everything. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's lots of painting going on. Mm -hmm. It's I love fun. painting, by the way. I but, hate painting, but by the tonight way. <laughs> I chose to be with you guys. I don't know if you're the lucky ones or not, but uh, is it too much to ask for a coffee for me too? I'm sure. Thank you. No, I'm not sure it's too much. Oh, it is too much. Oh yeah. well, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, so back to. Can I get you guys a cup of coffee too? Uh, yeah. Like this natural journey was saying yesterday. Uh, you know, was. Uh, Natural sugar and almond milk, please. Okay. Well, we don't have either, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's lovely. I'm not knocking it. I'm just. <laughs> um. So uh, let's say hi to uh, those of you who are here tonight who chose to spend uh, at least part of their Friday uh, or Saturday, depending <laughs> which part of the world you are on tonight. Uh, and uh, Anya, Anya, Anya. <laughs> there. I got it too, in my head. <laughs> Anya Tech. Hi. So Anya, nice to see you, you today again. Uh, Beauty and the Burr is Beauty in. And the Burr, big. Christy K9. Uh, not like others. Welcome, welcome. Teeth Rock. Hello, hello. Terrell the Originals. And of course, our special guest tonight, this natural journey, is in the chat as well. And give them some round of applause. I can't clap. Terrell. And they're probably just before or right after their lunchtime, are you guys? Uh, I will be sending a link shortly. Um, now, for those of you who haven't put the tweet out yet, please do. Uh, today we were a bit late putting out our um, promotional stuff uh, since we were caught up in uh, uh, a little bit of reconstruction of our or construction of our apartment today. Uh, so, uh, yeah. And so if you could tweet this out, I would really appreciate to let people out, out there know uh, that we're going to have amazing guests from New Zealand today. Hey, hey, Natural Journey. Um, and yeah, Anya would like uh, whipped cream. Okay. By the way, the chat and the video uh, is going, and there's such lag today. So guys, if I don't see your uh, comment or your question right away, it's because uh it's lagging on this side i don't know why it's like literally two minutes after friday nights are bad for youtube servers yeah i guess yeah so literally it was two minutes so after you're, you're not watching the hangouts so you're watching the actual no you are watching hangouts. yeah the the stream is fine the, oh, but okay. the the chat oh okay i don't know about the video but the chat is so i would assume the video as well on youtube is uh literally two minutes later but so bear with us uh if we don't answer right away on your chat. Um, uh, okay, so how are you guys doing tonight, by the way? How is your Friday? Hopefully your week was well. Uh, hopefully uh, you are happy to have Friday, unless you have to work today or tomorrow. Here in Canada, we have a long weekend. Uh, it's um, uh, Queen's Day, the day of the Queen on Monday, uh, uh, or Victoria Day in... Um, Quebec, am I right? They and they changed it to the King Day to celebrate France. I think it's some stupid point. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, <laughs> can't delete anything here. Yeah, you know we're live. I don't. So I don't either be. one or the other. It's a long weekend here, yeah. and kids were off today. Kids were going to be on uh, Monday off, and for all the regular w working people out there, it's three day weekend. Uh, so it's a long weekend here. Uh, by the way, are you guys, uh, yes, coffee. <laughs> I got coffee finally. Are you guys watching uh, the royal uh, wedding tomorrow morning? Well, again, uh, for us, it's going to be 6 o'clock in the morning, and they start broadcasting at 4 a.m., so I don't know if I'm quite ready waking up at 4 a.m. to watch uh, royal uh, wedding tomorrow, although the new duchess or princess, whichever title they're going to give her, is Canadian. Did you guys know that? That uh, our new royalty is from Canada. She's an amazing actress, actually, and uh, I don't know if you guys have watched it. The show called Suits, 
uh, is really good. And especially if you are a woman or if you like men, they're really hot guys on that. Really hot guys on that TV show. Suits, you got to check that out. If not for our future princess, then for the hot guys. Mm -mm -mm. And I know I said I like Bruce Willis um, beforehand, but this is not Bruce Willis. This is right on in suits, lawyers, right? So go check that out if you can. Um, ADG, it travels. Hi, hello. Uh, hi, hello. Yeah, and so, but so, are any of you uh, planning to watch the wedding tomorrow? I gotta put the video on because I think the chat is lagging like five minutes now. <laughs> um, bear with me, care. I'm so bad at this when I'm alone and Andrew is gonna be popping in and out. For those of you who are waiting for Andrew, uh, I'm gonna be in and out. I gotta put that, oh, oh, oh. Okay, Alex. I can't pronounce it. I'm sorry. Alex Fo Fox. Fox. Alex Fox. Hello. There. I hopefully I pronounced it right. Um, you see, my video on YouTube is even buffering. So, by the way, in case uh, you get booted out by YouTube, it's it's YouTube. It's not your internet. It's YouTube on Fridays gets like this because everybody started streaming lately, uh, and I think their servers are just not ready for a whole bunch of streams at the same time. So, uh, if you get booted out or thrown out or starts buffering uh, our video, just refresh it, and you should be good because uh, that's what usually happens on the weekends. Uh, just a little. Um, warning so to say it's the first time you heard about the wedding oh no well maybe it's because we are here because the bride let, let i mean they're going to be streaming it on youtube by the way it's going to be a live stream of the royal wedding on youtube we're talking about the royal wedding so you go paint <laughs> we're talking about suits and hot guys and all that so i'm good <laughs> You're good. Uh, yeah, definitely. Okay, so um, Prince Harry, it, Prince Harry, girls, you know with Prince Harry, right? Uh, Prince Harry is getting married to Meghan Markle tomorrow. And it's a royal wedding. Uh, we're going to be seeing it at um, uh, 6 o'clock Eastern. So wherever you are, uh, you can figure that out. And as I said, it's going to be 4 o'clock in the morning Eastern to get the, all the preparations ready to watch and to see them, you know, coming in a carriage in and all the royalties coming in. I don't know if I'm ready for 4 o'clock. We'll see about that. Um, and so, and uh, they are going to be doing it uh, not in London. They're uh, going to be doing, I think, um, uh, in the Windsor Castle if I'm correct. Some people have been, uh, uh, you know, um, sleeping outside of the castle uh, in the allowed areas for weeks already just to caught, catch a glimpse of the new couple. There, I just post a link from BBC News from today. Uh, you can check out the latest news about our couple. Hello, Philip. Uh, yeah, everybody, it's great tonight. Tonight we're here in the kitchen, Pusha Studios kitchen. I could start making supper, by the way. That would be a good idea, too. Riblets. Uh, hmm? Riblets. You could do that while you're doing it. Yeah, yeah. if we wouldn't have guests on, I couldn't have probably done that. <laughs> but we have guests today, so. You want to cook? If you want to watch me cook, you'll have to watch it after the guests, so. <laughs> So yeah, so check out the royal wedding. Uh, it's tomorrow. Uh, check out the wedding if you want. And if you don't want to wake up or you don't want to check the wedding and you like men, go check the TV show Suits. I guarantee you, you're not going to regret that. Um, oh, Anya, you're going to Stonehenge next week. That's so cool. Have you planned it out already? I remember you telling that you were planning out the uh, trip. Uh, do you have like your uh, itinerary ready already? 
And we are so looking forward to the videos and pictures from there. That's so amazing. Xenia's cooking channel. By the way, I had a blog a couple of years ago. I think I started seven years ago uh, or so, or six years ago, uh, called Made with Love. You can actually still find it on Facebook and maybe on the blogger community as well. It's not active right now. Um, it's called Made with Love. And I used to make uh, mostly Eastern uh, European and Russian recipes and post them there um, uh, with pictures. Uh, sometimes some Canadian recipes with uh, a Russian twist on them. And then uh, the other week we had uh, one, I forget which ones of the guests we had on. Uh, yeah, we had one of the guests on and they were talking about the cooking and we figured out why not to make sometimes a series of uh, uh, Push Studios Kitchen and like made it. with love by Push Studios. So maybe we will bring it back. I don't know. I'm still in the thoughts of it. The uh, Facebook page is still up there. It has uh, over a thousand uh, followers. There's still people liking it, although there haven't been anything been posted for years now. Uh, still people like it. Uh, I get notifications about it. So uh, maybe I might do a little section separately from that. Who knows? It's still up in there, but it's it's, it's possible. It's possible. Well, bottle caps, hello, hello. Uh, I wonder if the beauty refers to me. Probably not, since you don't see Andrew. Andrew, you're going to come and say hi because um, bottle caps is here and he's not going to be happy. He can't see you. Bottle caps, what's up? How are you? And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to say hi to Stephanie because Stephanie is from work. Say hi from both of us. Philip, good to see you, my friend. Always nice to have you here. How's everybody doing? We're in the middle of some renovations, so I'm kind of in and out, but thank God I have a son old enough to hold a paintbrush now. Yeah. <laughs> and a good friend uh, you guys see in the chat sometimes, AJ, uh, uh, sorry, WJ Auto Works. Yep, he mm -hmm. was in. Uh, he is in here yep. uh, tonight. Uh, so instead of being online with you guys, he's with us in uh, our living room. See what happens when you join our chats. You end yeah. up painting for us we'll at some point. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> um, GP Puggy, hi. Hello. Good to have you here. How are you doing? Uh, did I did I miss anybody? Beauty and I was there from the beginning. I think I, oh, Nathan, Nathan. Hello, Nathan. Uh, Nathan is partial to percussion. <laughs> and Alex apparently is following Anya, so. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, that's great, Anya. That's great. You brought in a friend. We always, we love that. Um, yeah, it's a long weekend. Oh, it's a long weekend for you too. Yeah. It's a long weekend here, as we were talking. Yeah, anytime painting is a long weekend. <laughs> Ball caps want to know, are, are we in the kitchen or the bathroom? Bathroom. Hang on, I gotta go flush. <laughs> Did you show me your pictures behind? No. Oh, yeah. So talking about the uh, Made With Love blog and my love of cooking, um, I actually, one of the designs of our kitchen is the pictures of my food taken by me. Can you see that? That's what I was asking a while ago. There's your hangouts. Okay, no. sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is a picture of a pie that I made. And I took a picture of it. <laughs> and now it's on the wall. And then we have a picture of cannolis love cannolis with raspberries also made by Pusha Studios yeah, including the raspberries that's my specialty yes and there is a raspberry pie so those were taken long ago that was on a point and shoot you shot this was a point and shoot yeah, yeah. by the way this was taken at least six years ago if not more uh yum 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 yeah i would like to have those cannolis today um easy to tips and tricks hello hello can you turn your camera a tiny bit no <laughs> that's why i was so miss kathy is live streaming and she says where are you i'm just dropping in to tell you hey ball caps catch you on the reband 
Bro, I'm out of here. <laughs> My goodness. Ah, uh, well, hello, hello. The guy to Kathy. Uh, yes, it's Victoria Day in Canada. Yep. Well, Caps, you are in Canada. You should know that. It's you got a town in your province named after, so you got to celebrate. Bottle caps, bottle caps. <laughs> God. <laughs> um, Philip haven't had dinner uh, yet. Can you make me something? Yeah, yes. I was gonna make riblets, but they, if I start doing that, we're never gonna have guests on, <laughs> and they are all all out. Uh, uh, in New Zealand waiting uh, to come on so it would be unfair although I could I could do that one of the days um Artie Morbid good evening good evening uh ATGH travels I'll take some pie and cannoli yeah I I'll too. take some too I haven't made cannoli for a long time. Actually, I have a friend uh, it, uh, who's Italian, and I would like her to teach me how to make it because that was my own attempt doing it, and I actually have their, uh, the uh, metal shapes that are needed for that. Um, but I still would love to have uh, original uh, recipe for it, so to say. XX Jamil Ahmed Saleh XX. Hello, hello. You're giving a shout out later. Well, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Miss Kathy. You were live and you left just for us. Oh, oh, you're so sweet. It, oh. I was just uh, telling easy to tips and tricks to tell a uh, hi from us to you. But thank you so, so much. Uh, today we're going to have uh, this natural journey on from New Zealand just in a couple of minutes. And I'm here in the kitchen. I just was showing the pictures of my uh, cooking, my baking. I like cooking in general, but uh, mostly baking. Although I do do cooking every day. Let me tell you what, if you would be coming for a visit here or to live for a couple of days here, you wouldn't regret your dinner. Wouldn't want to even order in because every night is something else. And I bake a lot of sweets. Uh, if you're a sweet tooth, um, I, I think Andrew is having quite a good life. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely. I love cooking, so I enjoy doing that. Um, oh, somebody was live streaming your live video tonight. Well, he's going to get a strike. You're actually, um, that's too bad, though, but you actually can do that. Uh, it's against YouTube rules. Uh, you can't, you really can't live stream somebody else's stream while it's on. Like I know some sometimes we do each other's like with a phone and kind of catches uh, like we did with SyncShare. He caught like the beginning of him coming on. So it probably is not going to get strike for that because it's just a few seconds. But you're not really allowed to du double double live stream, so to say, or triple or whatever. Uh, so he's going to get strike for that. And it doesn't matter if it's copyrighted or not. It's just not allowed. So, um, so ball caps ha helped you with that. I'm more interesting. Well, I don't know about that. Did you do a Pictionary? Maybe you, we should, we could do the Pictionary. <laughs> um, AOK -okay foraging and adventures. Hello. Hello. And Cher Erickson, Colorado Martini, hey all. <laughs> well, let me see uh, where our guests are at. He was a troll and ball caps deleted his man. Well, it, so is your live still on his channel? Yeah, that's weird. People do that. I mean, I don't know why they do that because it's kind of pointless. They're going to get deleted anyway. Uh, so I don't know. So weird. How is your setup going, by the way, Miss Kathy? I go check it out after. Patsy Galuna was informing me, but I don't know where his channel is. Okay. Yeah, well, that's good. Ball caps was there. Uh, well, yeah, that's why it's it's good to have you know uh, people with <laughs> blue wrenches, and I'm glad all of you guys are here because we can take care of our own right uh, and if somebody intrudes uh, intrudes with messages like that you know yeah 
Millie and Ashley, hi, hi, hi. By the way, Millie and Ashley are going to be our guests on Monday. So stick around for Monday. And tomorrow we're going to have, going to have the good cell life, I think. Don't have my calendar with me, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, you did make them all moderators. Well, there you go. It, it works for us. It works for us because nobody is going to throw each other out. We're all here friends and uh, so to say family. So I, I, it does work for us really well. So hello, hello. Hello, Neil. Are you working out right now? Yesterday, Neil was... Uh, uh, working out and listening to our stream while we had geeks, the girls from Geeks on yesterday. Oh, Artie Morbin, thank you. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. They're actually getting together uh, uh, as well. Uh, I, I don't know if you know, but they are like kind of in a long distance relationship as well. So they are finally getting together uh, right now. And, and that's a great chance uh, to catching them both at the same time. <laughs> so that's going to be so much fun. Oh, Annalise is there too. Well, hello, Annalise as well. Are you both, uh, are you guys both uh, working out? IUK has foraging adventures, has exact name. How is that possible? But they added a letter, so it was a bit different. Well, did you report him? You, you know, you can report him, yeah? Um. Oh, Colorado, you're sick. That's not good. I hope you feel better soon. Oh, perfect. So are you guys ready? Uh, if so, I'm going to be sending you the link. Otero Studios, hello, hello. Our, our uh, creator and draw, how are you, the artist? with amazing superhero powers. Bad cold. Oh, you should go to bed, honey. Who does this is a podcast? Just listen to us. We'll close your eyes, have some tea, close your eyes, and, and try to sleep. You need some rest. Life first, okay? As much as we appreciate you being here, I'm going to take care of yourself. Harvey Danger Films. Hi. Let me fix you with a mod here. Uh, Harvey Danger Films is amazing channel. Uh, you got to go and check it. Uh, it's amazing cinematic videos. They're very high quality, uh, beautiful, beautiful videos. Uh, very aesthetically beautiful. Uh, you got to go check it out um, if you haven't yet. Um, okay, now um, let me try and send the link. Yes, uh, okay, I would still report that troll. Uh, just explain it because you can uh, leave a comment as well. Like you can uh, report it uh, for, and then you choose the reason. And then I think uh, you can put in the comment like why. Uh, just, to, you know, uh, they will look at this channel and they are going to be able to see that it's a troll. So um, just report it. That's how you have to do. Obi Scott, making series of American Trailer Park, kind of like Trailer Park Boys out of Canada. Yeah, that's so amazing. I, we love Trailer Park Boys. Like uh, the movie, well, not so much, but we have uh, watched Trailer Park Boys ever since they came out uh, when they were not even so popular and the amazing stuff there in, from Canada. And it used to be the, one of the most smuggled DVDs uh, because they weren't showing them in states. So. It's quite interesting. Maria Portillo. Hi, hi, hi. Um, yeah, okay. So, yeah, Colorado, I hope you feel better after that. And now let me send the channel, our guest, um, the link. Um, and while I'm doing... No, I'm not running solo. Andrew is doing some painting uh, in the living room in our usual space for uh, where where we are live streaming from. So we just decided to change places because everything is upside down in the living room. Uh, all the couches and everything and the walls are half done. It's just quite a mess. So we decided to do it in the kitchen. This is our kitchen, red. Like Betty Crocker, Andrew was saying. He even bought me uh, like these utensils or kitchen utensils with red handles because it's Betty Crocker kitchen for me. 
Uh, Rolling Homestead and Wild Edibles. Hi, hello, so nice to see you. Okay, so I'm guys, I'm so caught up with you guys, um, but I gotta, <laughs> which is great, but I gotta send uh, a link to our guests. Okay. Uh, now, for the guests, if you hear us, uh, pause the video on YouTube before you press the joining button so it doesn't echo. Uh, you'll still be able to see the chat, but you'll watch and listen it through Hangouts, okay? Uh, there you go. Hopefully, fingers crossed it works. The red and white is great. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, we used to have red cupboards too, but now they're white. Uh, so we literally have trims and uh, window um window trim is red and this is red and i have a whole bunch of red access accessories like this nice nice scarf here on my um on my um on my chairs and uh, of course the red mug red red is my favorite color if you if you still don't know <laughs> If you still don't know, red is my favorite color. I used to have clothes that were all red. Um, yeah, the red pops. I I love red. It's 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 quite, you know. Also, from the uh, psychology of colors point of view, uh, red makes you more hungry. That's why a lot of stores actually use red color to enhance your hunger, so you are more hungry and more prone to buy more produce. That's exactly why. So red for the kitchen is actually good in a way or bad if you tend to overeat. I don't know. <laughs> purple is Auto Studios color, but you can't make purple without red. That's right. That's right. I would love red Camaro. Yes. Well, red cars is a classic, right? So and obviously, whenever somebody tells me about the car, the first thing I ask them is what color is it? And it has to be red. I do like some funky colors too uh, on the cars. Depends, like if it's a Volkswagen Beetle, for example, or a, a Smart, <clears throat> the Mini. Uh, I like more like you know sky blue or um, lime green, like stuff like that. But for the kitchen and for the rooms in general, I like something like that. We used to. I like pop colors that pop, and then you adjust your decorations and little things, you know, accordingly to that. Uh, Camaros are beautiful rides. Yes, they are. Oh, I lost the, oh, there it is. Okay. It's a little bit chilly. It was a very nice day today, but it's starting to blow uh, some wind from the river. I think it's gonna be raining tomorrow. You're all about black cars, Hilos. Ooh. You painted my old Camaro Porsche lipstick red. Wow, wow. That's really classic. Red lips. Bottle caps, do you like red lips? Um, yeah, I know, Colorado. Uh, but you see, the thing is, depends if you eat here or not. Because if you are making food, then it's good. You know, you you want to, before your supper, it's good that you're hungry. Um, you don't want red in your living room or somewhere where you actually are, are spending a lot of time. Because then, yes, it would make you more hungry. Uh, there's lots of actually uh, things in uh, color psychology and in marketing, depending on a color psychology. For example, if you write um, with a blue on a yellow paper or with a yellow, well, it depends if, if you can do it on the computer as well. Um, uh, uh, with a yellow on a blue paper, it will stay in your mind better because your mind percepts uh, the combination of blue and yellow very good. It focuses better and it actually helps you memorize things much better if it's blue on yellow or yellow on blue. So if you have exam coming up, write down your notes on yellow paper with a blue pen or if you're using computer, then you can reverse the colors as well. <laughs> Obby Scott is in the process of editing your series. Well, that's quite a thing, like a big project sounds like. Are you putting out all, this, all the episodes at the same time? Like Netflix does, or are you putting them out one, one after one? Okay. 
He loves his big beamer front. By the way, I don't know if I caught your answer about working out. Are you guys working out or not right now? I'm going to be, I am not working out right now due to my physical not feeling well, but I, I am going to, um, I'm going to take you accountable, so to say, on working out. <laughs> so I'm going to be asking, are you working out now or not? Uh, would have helped to know that this semester, today was the last day. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. That's amazing. That's great. That's so cool. Okay. Let, uh, I sent the link uh, for this natural journey. Let's see what is going on there, why they can't uh, get in. How is it working? Uh, while we're waiting for our guests uh, to come in, if you can tweet out the stream, I would really appreciate it. Jody, hi! Uh, Jody is my sister-in-law, for those of you who don't know. So you have half of our family <laughs> that is usually, or sometimes on. Uh, our, as we said, we JW is now in our living room doing the painting. And Jody's here, so welcome, welcome. Ball caps, be nice. <laughs> You're trying. Is it not working? Uh, maybe you can uh, message me back on uh, Twitter, and we can try to solve it out. Uh, your daughter drives it more than you do. Oh. Yeah. How is it to, to for the first time, by the way? How is it to give the keys to your daughter the first time after they pass the exam? I'm still having that in the future. I don't know. <laughs> you tweeted it out. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I really appreciate it. ThinkShare. ThinkShare is in Zach. Uh, teacher Zach from ThinkShare. He was a, a guest on our um, show the day uh, before yesterday, I think, and was really... I would call it smart talks. It was a lot of uh, great conversation about life, motivation, inspiration. Definitely check that out. Uh, lots of input from chat about life and experiences. Uh, sometimes serious talks as well, but very inspirational. A uh, very uh, smart, amazing young man. I wish uh, all our teachers would be like that. Uh, yeah, you just gonna uh, okay. Uh, I go back to Twitter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's, um, yeah, I, I'm gonna write it there. Okay, so guys, hang out a little bit. I'm gonna try and get our guests in. There's some kind of technical difficulties. R T Jake, hello. Uh, yeah, um, I think uh, I know that um, best friend is using um, Hangouts uh, from iPad. I also know that using phone can sometimes give some difficulties. Um, the, we have had, I think, two times uh technical difficulties with uh with guests and uh, i think both of those times were from phones but uh it's just more reliable i guess it still can be solved out uh, so if you can use your laptop uh if you can't tablet is good and if you only have a phone we'll figure out that out too how was your evening jody 
we had an amazing walk today after breathing some paint fumes uh an amazing walk uh seen a white heron and gray heron and baby ducks and baby geese and even groundhog very up close um yeah i think our guests are still trying to get on you're gonna tell me uh, what you guys are having there is there a po something pops up why you can't log in um tomorrow we're gonna have the good cell life on uh, that's going to be interesting. Uh, and uh, Monday, as I said, Millie uh, and Ashley is going to be on. And then Tuesday, we have a regular Tuesday Tech Talk. So if you have any questions about, um, uh, you know, video editing or photo editing uh, or social media, any questions like that, we can try and answer together with the chat. Um, Rosorian Buck uh, and a few other videos have been made. Um, after watching our tips, which feels really amazing. Um, it's great to see you guys growing as well and uh, gaining some some knowledge from us and from people in the chat. So if you have any questions, uh, drop by on Tuesday. Um, and then we have a whole different guests. Uh, wow, well, up I until have... Sunday, right? And Sunday we're not here. <laughs> Hello. Um, you're going to try and behave tonight. I guess it's Neil talking now. <laughs> yeah, Millie, I understand that. I get you. I get you. It's it's hard. It's uh, I remember in university time, it's uh, sure. the end of the year. It's yeah. quite draining. You sent pictures of your baking. OK, well, can everybody look at them? We're sorted. OK. OK, well, if you're sorted, you're just going to press and you're Gonna join. Um, I'm closing. Right. Sunny, come here. Oh, there you are. <laughs> now I can see you. I'm closing. Okay, just a second. Uh, I gotta pause my stuff here. Otherwise, it's gonna go everywhere. There. Hello, hello. Hi. Aha, uh -huh. so, see, I didn't have it open, so I didn't see you guys. <laughs> Hi, and welcome. Hi. <laughs> can you hear us, eh, Kelly? I can hear you. Right. Are you going to step back? <laughs> yeah, come on. Okay, they're going to do um, a hacker welcome to you all, a New Zealand special hacker. Okay. Yeah. Okay, stand up, ready, 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 ready. Oh my God, Sunny! Sunny, say um, what your name is. Hi, my name is Sunny. Hi, my name is Sky. My name is Bu.
That's amazing. That was so wonderful. And now we're going to do. Thank you. And now we're going to do one of Sky songs. Okay. <laughs> I'm not doing it because I don't know it. Oh, we didn't know about this one. This is an extra one for you. Yeah. Okay. Only for Tiki Taka Ta. Oh, Rocky. Oh, wait. Oh, Rocky Timbo Cat. He, 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 ah. Why, Taki Te Oa? Go, my Taki Te Wu. Taki Timbo Te Wa. Good job! That's so cool! Thank you. Well, everybody's clapping in the chat. They're enjoying it. Hi, everyone in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. I love that. Thanks. Hello. Hi. Hi. We move you now. <laughs> that was amazing. That was really amazing. Uh, welcome and hi from New Zealand. Back to the future in Saturday. I'll keep repeating that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where did you learn all that for you? Uh, from Grandpa Hacker. Where? Where? Where's that? At school. Oh, it's at school. At school. <laughs> Uh, so, guys, uh, well, for those of us uh, in the chat who maybe are not as familiar to uh, your channel and what you guys are doing, maybe we can start with a little introduction. First of all, how are you guys, your names, and uh, what is your channel about? Well, I'm Matt, <laughs> and this is... You. Hello, I'm Jo. <laughs> and then you saw Sky and Sunny. And... What's our channel about, Joe? <laughs> um, wow, it's um, oh, I sit down. We started at we started at England, didn't we? Yeah, it's actually um, like <laughs> it's actually two years to the day that we started our YouTube channel. Oh, um, congratulations! Yeah, so <laughs> thanks to Facebook when it flashes up and tells you what you were doing. <laughs> Um, and yeah, we kind of started off um, our YouTube channel about um, just our lifestyle had started changing, um, what we were eating, and um, I guess the way our lifestyle was had slightly changed. And we felt really, really inspired by many things that were on YouTube. So we felt that we would kind of join that and hopefully inspire others at some point. So um, it kind of started off there. Then we moved to New Zealand, mm -hmm. and um, and then we felt that we just kind of wanted to start making some vlogs and keep up with the travels, a way to communicate with our family and friends back in the UK. Um, mm -hmm. And it kind of just grew from there, really. And now it's kind of like, you know, there's more more to it. And yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> well, it, it, when it started, we we got into juicing. Um, Jason Vale. Yeah. Have you heard of Jason Vale? No. Can you tell us? Yeah, you should check him out. He's got a YouTube channel. Um, basically, we watched um, Joe. Yeah, a documentary called um, Super Juice Me, which is um, where people go on this journey of 28 days of juicing. So, fruits and vegetables, juicing. And in that 28 days, people started to. Um, heal themselves of all sorts of diseases and things like that so um it really really inspiring very moving documentary to watch um and so that's what we incorporated into our lifestyle and with that we were able to heal our youngest sonny he was covered in eczema and we were able to heal his eczema entirely um and yeah, for Matt, there was lots of healing in the process there. But yeah, I'll definitely watch the documentary. Um, Jason Bell, yeah, you said? Bale. Jason Bell, V A L E. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'll definitely check that out. That sounds interesting. Yeah. He, he um, on his documentary, he took how many people? Nine, ten people to his resort in Portugal, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, there was, 
people who were really ill. You know, the one guy had um, a suitcase that was just full of all his medicines. Oh, my God. He was on breathing apparatus. There was a couple who were on breathing apparatus. A lady had Crohn's disease. Yeah, Crohn's disease. Crohn's yeah. disease and, and stuff. Yeah, sleep apnea and just lots of things from asthma and eczema to more extreme cases and stuff. And, and basically, you know, they the guy with a suitcase full of um, pills, he made a little suitcase and he had like two pills in. By the end of the documentary. By the end of the documentary. Mm -hmm. yeah. By the end of 28 days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, wow. um, so we were kind of like, yeah, I want a piece of that. And uh, yeah, I yeah. amazing. <laughs> like miracle almost. I know. Yeah. And, you know, there's that, um, I can't remember who says it, but some probably some Greek person said, um, you know, let plants be thy medicine. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, so that's how it, our channel kind of started. We just incorporated much more plants into our diet. Um, and, yeah, and then found the benefits of, um, healing, asthma, hay fever, eczema. Hmm. So, yeah. although, though we don't really talk about it much now in like we're doing more vlogs and our journey and stuff, but I think that's what this natural journey is all about is that as we all do, our lives are on a journey and they change all the way through. Oh, and mm -hmm. <laughs> So uh, your kids were, uh, were much smaller when you started the juicing part and like change of your lifestyle. I'm kind of more, more into that phase if I may ask you questions about it because it's yeah. really interesting. Uh, so your kids were smaller and uh, you decided to change. So before that, did you, uh, were you vegetarians as well or vegans before? No, we were like huge meat eaters. I mean, Matt was practically desperate Dan. He would have half a cow on a plate. You know, it was oh. if, we went, if we went to a restaurant, it was like, right, what's the biggest burger and can I get another patty in it? You know, like. <laughs> okay. and, uh, yeah, and I was, I was, you know, I, I enjoyed meat as well and okay. um, ate lots of fish and seafood and the children were the same. They were brought up on the same type of, uh, you know, meal as, as as we were what for me um what what made me change was realizing that you don't actually need to eat those things to to to, to get the nutrition that you need okay so because i've always been quite an environmentalist um being a surfer i, I was part of surface against sewage which is an okay. um an english he just wants to Bye. say goodbye. He wants to go and play with his toys. Oh, yeah, oh my God. I, thank you for the welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it was very nice. Very cool. Okay, then. Yeah, yeah. Which is, um, so Service Against Sewage is like an English environmental group. Um, they, they go to Parliament and stuff like that and get lots of things done to do with, you know, protecting the oceans. Okay. Um, so when I found out that actually the agricultural industry was more damaging to the environment than everyone driving around in their cars it was um had a big impact on me mm -hmm. and then um obviously the health aspect as well um is very strong because i've got i've got es eczema on my skin you might have noticed it in some of the videos and um i've got asthma and i nearly cured it when we did the 28 day juice Thing. I've, I've always had it all my life and like really close to curing it but as soon as we did the the 28 day juice I cured my hay fever which I'd had for you know decades wow so if anyone wants to cure their hay fever <laughs> that's a great way that's but we amazing. cured Sonny's eczema he had eczema and and we cured it you know that way Hello, yeah, there you. You're right. I was so shocked about uh, that. Actual fashion industry is number one uh, pollu pollution pollutant in the world, so to say. Uh, and as you said, the agriculture is the second one. So uh, you know, everybody's really talking about uh, you know the the cars and all the emissions and all the other stuff that we're doing. But it's actually two industries that people forget about that creates most of it, and it's mm -hmm. surprising. And it's just a bringing awareness, isn't it? I think, you know, you do whatever you want to do with that information. But yeah, uh, that's how we feel with the children as well. It's that they're more informed rather than conditioned. You know, we were conditioned as children to to eat certain things, to wear certain things or whatever, to 
fit into whatever type of society um, and mm-hmm. once you have that sort of more of a, an awakening I guess then for your children you just you know give them more informed choice mm-hmm. allow them to you know make choice and um, you know as they grow older they they then make their own decisions don't they you know exactly it's part of education so to yeah. say you know yeah. the more information we have the better choice we we can have so I agree fully for that for sure yeah. I, I wonder how is a uh, how old were the kids when you started uh, the change um, so it's almost three years since we started it was very very slow transition so you know we the dairy was the biggest thing first of all and that was the noticeable thing with sunny skin so cut out the dairy um then i think the eggs and um yeah then just slowly the meat the fish was last you want sunny just wants to show you his tooth I've lost two. So up here, Sunny. And this one is my tooth I kept. And I've lost two. Your first two. Oh, two. did you pull it out or did it fall out on its own? Um, pulled both of them out. Yeah. I. Oh, uh, you're brave. I don't really know what. Gun. I tried to do it. <laughs> you tried to do one with a Nerf gun. This one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> He so tried to att- attach it to a bullet <laughs> with a piece of string and then shoot it out. Oh my god! <laughs> How did that work? This is YouTube yeah. for you. He was watching YouTube videos. He was like, "Yeah, look, I can get my tooth out if I put some string around my tooth and at the end of the string around a bullet, and then I'll." Oh I'll my god! Uh, I, you know, in old times we used to do it with a door. It was very easy. <laughs> Yeah, we suggested that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> so yeah, so could, continue going. Uh, did they find the adjustment, uh, and how did you find the adjustment as well? Like easy mm-hmm. uh, once you decided that you want to transform the way your lifestyle is, or the way you are eating. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely difficult because you just. You know, especially as I'm like, well, I mainly make all the dinners and stuff and the lunches. So for me, it was like, oh, everything I know, I'm trying to undo. So, mm-hmm. so I did that slow transition. So it was like finding new recipes, making a new recipe every week, getting more familiar with lentils and beans, and um, lots and lots of research as well on nutrition. Because one of the biggest things was, you know, as soon as you said to someone, hey, I'm not giving the children you know any dairy everyone's like you know frowning going well how are they going to get their calcium and <laughs> how they're going to get their protein and you know if you're not giving them meat and it's like well exactly that's exactly what we've been conditioned to think by all of those big corporate industries exactly you know um and although they are great sources they've also got things that aren't good about them whereas you know you can't go wrong with some spinach and beans can you you know it's just all goodness so um but yeah the transition was quite quite slow like well I don't know about nine months in all where we went Mm -hmm. from probably you know meat eaters to no animal products at all okay and the children just kind of went with the flow um they're not fussy eaters and we've always let them explore foods and and stuff and Mm -hmm. but like I'm always quite um, insistent, you know, Bu doesn't really like cherry tomatoes, but he often finds cherry tomatoes on his plate just in case <laughs> one day. Yeah, well, you know, it's the same as we incorporate like broccoli and stuff <laughs> and like that. We all do that, I think. Uh, try to hide them. <laughs> he just shouted. I don't know if you heard him. He just went, I'm never going to eat them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, um, oh, he's caught me out now. Uh, like um, I discovered that you can even make sweets with uh, uh, using vegetables, like uh, you know, zucchini and black beans can be made into a chocolate cake, which I didn't know, <laughs> and, yeah. and it actually tastes uh, the same. But if you say say to somebody that haven't tried it, they don't believe it till so they actually try a piece. But it actually tastes the same, and it's yeah. so amazing. You can put all these great things inside unhealthy stuff and it becomes healthy right like you know applesauce for sugar and things yeah. like that. It's, it's amazing yeah. what we can do differently so i i i'm not uh, where you are at that lifestyle choice yet but i do understand what you're talking about because i think we have so little information when we are conditioned 
uh, with yeah. what we are supposed to, like from our childhood, what we're supposed to do, we're supposed to have. We don't really seek outside of that. It's like being in a glass dome. Uh, yeah. you know, you're used to that. You don't really look outside of it. Um, and But outside of it is actually a whole new world. And maybe yeah. it's even better. You, you know, you got to know information in order to make the decision. And so. it was really scary with that information as well. Once we knew more, it was a bit like the Matrix, you know, where you take the pill and then all of a sudden it's like nothing's ever the same. Yeah. Like, I think now where we are, where we've made more of a connection with animals as well, um, I don't see a burger anymore. I, you know, I don't see milk anymore. I see, you know, milk that comes from a cow, which was for a baby calf. It, I kind of see everything so differently. And, um, yeah, I feel quite sad about a lot of that as well. Sometimes you just think it's not quite right because we, you know, we don't live in a society where we need to hunt and we need to do things. We can live, we can, you know, we don't need to wear leather. We don't, need to eat meat for nutrition there are so many other sources and we're blessed that we can just pop to the shop and do that mm. you know I know in some cultures that's not the same thing and I think that's okay you know it's all relevant to to each other but we don't need to be doing that not you know in the western well, anyway, so. I, 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 I'm uh, glad to hear that you also mentioned like the, the things that we use, not only eat, because I, that's why I mentioned about the fashion being top uh, industry of that is pollutant, so to say, because I think lots of times people who are not actually in it as a part of their lifestyle, um, don't, you know, they don't eat things, but yet they wear leather bags you know like it's kind yeah. of contradictory you can't you can't do one but not the other um yeah. you know so i i uh, when, when i hear you talking about it it really sounds like you guys have adopted the whole lifestyle oh. of it the whole new uh you know different way of thinking yeah and i think that's what veganism is actually about because i think veganism has become a little bit fashionable yeah as well. And I think, you know, there there is a fine line between you can be a very, very unhealthy vegan. I mean, Oreos are accidentally vegan. They don't contain any animal products, at least the original flavor. And if you were a vegan that ate Oreos and, you know, vegetarian crisps and sweets and Hot chips, chips and, and <laughs> you'd be so unhealthy. So vegan doesn't mean healthy. Vegan just means like, you know, to be as compassionate as possible. So, um yeah, you do, you don't you're not going to be wearing leather and it's plant based that's healthy. It's, yeah, it's the plant based that's healthy and it's just All taking everything into consideration. Mm -hmm. I think definitely. And is your diet more uh, raw eating or plant based? I know there is a difference. Um, I think it's it's just all round really. You know, we still go down the shop and buy hot chips from the you know the fish and chippy you know so um they are cooked in canola oil we do have to actually have to ask because in new zealand they do cook it a lot in talent uh, tallow is it beef fat oh um, okay so, yeah so we we have lots of cooked food um make our own pizzas and, with vegan cheese yeah it's a bit of a mixture we tend to have like a you know raw salads and um things like that for breakfast and yeah, it's a mixture, really, I think, yeah. We've got um, a few videos that the children have done with, um, there's the black bean. Oh, black bean brownies. Black bean brownies, like you're saying. Yeah, uh, they're amazing. I love it. My um, husband haven't even known he had black bean brownies. He's back. Yeah, uh, yeah you do, just don't mention and then no one knows. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't. He just looked at me with big eyes because he didn't know he has had it before. Yeah. <laughs> I can do that in the No. Hi guys, how are you? Hi. Hi, right. <laughs> I'm so see. sorry about tonight. Renovations went longer than expected. I'm so sorry about that. So no, okay. it's all good. It's all good. It's so good to see you on here. Been with this is a long time coming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, good. It's good. See, I look yeah. nice and clean and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's painting, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a beautiful sunny day in here in New Zealand. Oh, and it's it's a very sun shining it's, on us. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a really fun. Uh, I I'd give anything to be there right now. That's like number one on my bucket. Well, Iceland was, and now that I've knocked Iceland off, now New Zealand's number one. So yeah, they were tied for one. They were number one better than the other. But yeah. <laughs> is it fall now in New Zealand? 
it's a week away from winter, I'd say. Yeah. Well, oh, wow. Well, but yeah, we've had, you know, so. we do get rain and stuff, you know. Um, a few of our videos lately, like, had, like, raining and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I seen in one of your posts you said it was plus plus nineteen or plus twenty. Uh, is it on the warm side in the fall or is it on the colder side for the fall? It's that whole like four seasons in one day. I think you get in like say the autumn and the and the spring, mm. um, where you wake up and it could be a frost, and then you could be in shorts by like ten or eleven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, mm. today definitely short weather but the heat's really different here like in the UK if it's 20 degrees it feels like 20 degrees like this is Celsius and but here 20 degrees will feel like 25 because I think it's something to do with the ozone layer here and it's really intense heat oh wow yeah is it more drier heat as well um it, it's yeah, not it's probably it's, not dry no it? it's not it's just, humid heat it's no. it's nice heat and, it, and what i like as well is like 99 percent of, of every day you will always see blue sky at some mm. point during the day you mm. know, yeah. which is really nice because in england you get so many like gray dreary days yeah. and it's been such a long winter in the uk this year like they've had even in bournemouth where we're from they've had snow a couple of times and mm. I just like really feel for everyone now. I'm like, oh, you finally got some sun. Go get it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's every uh, everywhere this year. Uh, like it was such a long winter oh. here too. You, you know, we have nice weather now. It's spring, but Crazy. I think even like three or four weeks ago, it was still like flurries and snowing. And uh, and then also when I moved here to Canada, I, I found it so interesting that it was mostly sunny in winter because I come from Latvia originally, which is northeastern Europe, and you know, we also have weary and dreary gray winters and it's not as much as cold as a damp and, and wet and it's not nice. And here, although it's minus 30, it's sunny. And I was so surprised, oh, yeah. you know, it looks so nice and you go outside and it's so cold. That's yeah. the best part about here. If it's a sunny day in the winter, look out because you're going to freeze because it's too cold to snow. Yeah. <laughs> Right, I'm warm. sure for you guys yeah. it was also like a weather shock, so to say, when you uh, went to New Zealand as well, as you were just saying. Yeah, definitely, yeah. And also where we live as well, because in the UK our house, which is very common to have a double glazing and central heating, mm -hmm. where we're in quite an, an old weatherboard house. Like and a shed. <laughs> yeah, it's like camping. You can hear everything. <laughs> it's it's cold, but but you haven't got that contrast where you come into the house on a cold day and it's just like you know, oh gosh, take off your jacket, it's boiling. It's actually just quite a little bit warmer. So it's it's. I think it's better for your health probably as well, going more natural in and out of temperatures than definitely it's a, it doesn't have to adjust uh, uh for the different you know especially when we use in the summer conditioners here a yeah. lot and then you go you go outside and then it's a normal heat uh, people get sick a lot of times because of that difference yeah. so i would say i would assume it is better for your house for sure more natural as you said yeah. you that we're new, new zealand tv junkies like anything from new zealand no i haven't we, got we, we, we were watch. we were stuck in the questions about uh, lifestyle changes i so. love you guys' television anything we can get with it that involves new zealand like we're the first ones to watch it from like ah. uh, <laughs> well that's really funny because we haven't even got we new have... zealand tv hooked up yeah. oh, really? we haven't even got a tv to watch yeah, they, they TV, have been for a year now Oh, uh, yeah, I'm still not TV. good for you guys. I'm still proud. I'm proud of you for that. The non-traditional TV, of course, we don't have t traditional. It's all internet based. But yeah, no, mm -hmm. I love it. Uh, yeah, there have been a couple of good shows from New Zealand. The, the, the house building one. It says one from the UK it was about building homes, and now they have a, a, a New Zealand version. Oh, right. oh designs, yeah, yeah yes. design show, incredible oh, design. brand designs. Yeah. Yes, yes. Ah, cool. Yeah, I used to like watching yeah, that like back in, in England. Yeah. yeah. And the New Zealand one is just amazing because I love the style of houses. I love how you guys always, they're always using uh, count, uh, counter uh, counter lever homes. Okay. Yeah. I love that term. I think that's yeah. so cool. Like every house seems to, it's almost like a bylaw. If you don't have one, they're not going to let you build. It's got to be <laughs> There's going to be a counter lever at some point. It's just amazing because uh, you can see the whole beauty of New Zealand's nature while watching those shows, yes. and it's uh, unbelievable. So we're to the question of uh, what were you doing in UK before you changed your mind and, and went to New Zealand? What made you to let decide 
let's let's start what you were doing in UK before before we, you went to New Zealand. Uh, shall I start with me? Yeah. So basically, um, it is very hot. Yeah, uh, basically, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm freezing. Uh, <laughs> school, I went and did half a year of um, college to do okay. um, mechanics. I wanted to go in the um, in the army and be a tank mechanic, but then that didn't work out because of my asthma and eczema. They wouldn't let me in the army. And then being having eczema was no good with all the oils and stuff. So I said to my dad, I'll come and work with you. And he's um, he does carpets and flooring. Mm -hmm. So basically, fast forward 20 years, and I'm still doing that. OK. <laughs> that's cool. But that's the reason we've been able to come over to New Zealand, because mm -hmm um because you've got so much experience. because i've got the job skill shortage they got I've, you know they need guys like me who can come over and work in those sort of fields because especially here in christchurch where they had the 2010 2011 earthquakes the big earthquakes in christchurch yeah um, still like rebuilding the city it's still like a bit of a building site and i think there's like easily 10 years of work left to do in the city to get it you know wow. it was, it's, a, it's, it was it's an so awful shame for the city but i mean for contractors and labor i mean and skilled work like that what it's a boom time there you know yeah yeah so it's still in such a big destruction you say ten, it will take 10 years you say to yeah, well it's already yeah. been eight years because obviously there was all the aftershocks they couldn't start doing anything until mm. you know they knew they were all yeah. over and, and we see all these red zones where um like whole estates of like yeah there, there's no houses and... anymore because of mm -hmm. the um i think it's called refraction where all the the water and all the wet comes up and just yes. all the foundations and stuff so they don't let anyone can't build there anymore so there's all these like flatlands where there used yeah. to be gardens with all these old roads and old lamp posts and stuff yeah it's it's kind of eerie those yeah. areas and and christchurch is just completely flat as well um we actually live around the hills so uh, the Port Hills, and if you go to the top of the Port Hills, you can see Christchurch is just so flat, but there's so much water and it's all marshland. So, um, it, yeah, the earthquakes affected them big time. You know? yeah. uh, let me uh, try to find the map here. Uh, okay, well, you keep talking. I don't get the map by the time we, <laughs> we um, get to New Zealand. I'm going to try and find where yeah. it is. So um, for me in the UK, I was, um, yeah, I was just raising my three children, our three children, <laughs> my, my three children. Um, and yeah, I'd started working, um, I was so sunny, my youngest had just started school and I'd started working for a, a beautiful skincare company, which um, I'm just making soaps and things like that um but yeah we were just kind of really looking for something else we had only ever known Bournemouth our hometown and we love traveling so we just we were going to yeah. buy a B&B &B. yeah we were planning on moving to Cornwall to the west country okay and uh buying a B&B &B and maybe opening well, we, a we surf were going to buy a B&B &B, well yeah she was, pulled the lady yeah. pulled out so ah <laughs> And that was going to be right on the beach um, down in Cornwall in Bude. Yeah. Um, and we were going to, you know, make it awesome. But obviously things Yeah, you know, it was kind of a, a bit of a pipe dream, but it, but it was becoming real. And, um, yeah, we just had this, you know, the rug whipped out from under our feet and we were pretty devastated when it didn't actually happen. But it was also a really good wake-up call because we knew we just wanted to do something else. We just weren't sure exactly what it was. Mm -hmm. Um and yeah we often play it quite safe so we just yeah made this bold yeah, decision we don't, don't and, make silly decisions do we? no but yeah. we did you know the visa process and moving to new zealand was all done probably in about 10 8 to 10 weeks we did it quite quickly mm. we would we'd got our visas like in the july packed mm. up the house in the august and we were in new zealand in the september and we had never been here before Oh my God, uh, that's quite a, quite a change. So you, so you went there because of your work. Like, why did why did why well, was like, yeah that was oh, really so the... yeah the work was just the the foot in the door kind of okay. thing yeah. because yeah we we wouldn't have been able to get a visa any other way other than you know applying for jobs and see if we can get a job to mm. to get. But that's why you chose New Zealand as your as the place of destination. 
Um, I think New Zealand because we'd always fancied coming here. Okay. Um, yeah. We looked at Australia before we had children. Okay. And we couldn't get in, could we? And the guy at the time said, "Oh, have you thought about New Zealand?" And we were like, "Nah." And Ooh, then that was about twelve years ago yeah, or something. And, we were like, nah. and then, um, <laughs> and then obviously, yeah, look where we are now. <laughs> yeah, you never know. You never know, right? Uh, so, how old were your kids when you moved? Now it was um, um, so five, five, seven, and eight at the time. Mm. That's how old they were when they moved. Right. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you got rid of everything that you had in UK, so to say, and just moved over. Uh, yeah. Was the thought that you're moving to live or moving for a time? Or like, what was your plans in the long term? Well, we, we were given a three-year, I was given a three-year working visa with, with the family who are attached to that. Okay. So basically, we've got, we've got three years here and we're already sort of 18 months. Yeah, we're in. halfway through. So, but we... You know, we decided that we liked it, and we're going for residence visa now. Oh, yeah. that's amazing! Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't go out halfway around the world just to have a look, do you? <laughs> no, but we were we were very much. This is an adventure. You know, we haven't sold our home in the UK, and we, you know, because we like to have that little safety net there. Yeah. And the children as well, I think, you know, it's a huge thing to take them away from their family, their grandparents and their friends and stuff. And we didn't ever want to say from day dot that it was a permanent yeah. thing, like this is forever, because we've taught them everything in life is temporary, everything can change. And you have to learn to adapt, to be flexible and go with the flow. So um, I think if you put that pressure on yourself, then things don't live up to their expectation. Whereas if you go with just a completely open mind, then you can be like, you know, hey, this is cool. You know, OK, we prefer that in the UK, but this is great here. You know, it's just, yeah, it makes it more fun, I guess. <laughs> that's that's really cool. I, I love that. Uh... I love that outlook that you have, that you kind of accept what you've been given, so to say, uh, you know, your plan, but but you're happy and enjoy because you're right. I agree to that, too. And I think I, I try to a lot of as well to not expect too much because when you do, the, you do get more uh, disappointed when it doesn't come true, for mm -hmm. sure. I agree that. Yeah. Yeah, and you just, I think if you put those expectations there, it's its very easy to be disillusioned. And um, I think, you know, you can apply it with everything in life, you know, going to a new job or going on holiday. Just don't put too much on it. Just enjoy it for what it is, you know, and um, I think you can relax and enjoy things more that way. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, so how do the kids enjoy New Zealand? Is it, is it, feel different for them or not I mean it's still um uh, how different it is is it different from UK I know you were thinking yeah. of doing a video about school education differences yeah, but school's really different for them um it's well just even like where we live for example they can cycle and walk to school like they could all go to school on their own if need be even sunny at six but I still take them to school it's yeah. so it's so safe here and you know there's people aren't driving around like crazy people like, <laughs> like from where where we're from um and because it's a small community as well like there's just less people people just they're so so friendly and everyone just you know has got your back everyone knows you know your children pretty much mm. and um so yeah school's really different it's less pressure less homework they barely get any homework they're encouraged yeah. to do sports they're encouraged to do a lot more creativity things um as i mentioned in uh one of the chats the other day they do mindfulness at school they do yoga um they're talking about growth mindset all these wonderful things that i've been trying to teach them um, yeah, that's crazy. I I I seen your uh, message in the chat. You were talking about that, and that's crazy, amazing. Yeah, <laughs> that we yeah. have uh, implemented that in the um, 
you know, in, in their education system. I think I, I never heard of that anywhere before. And I mean, I might be wrong. Maybe there is some other places too, but it's great that they have it. It's yeah. like, is what kind of thinking they have behind it? Why, why do they have these things? Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I do know that um, suicide rates are, are a bit higher in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if there's a link with that. Um, they're quite into more open plan um, schooling as well. So, and adaptable work areas. So, like in Bue's class, for example, he's got uh, bean bags and they can sit down and do work on their lap or they can stand up at a table. Mm -hmm. um, so, they've got flexible workspaces. So I think they just seem to be at least where, you know, where they, because I'm sure other schools are different, but they just seem to be more open-minded about how they are a little bit more individual and unique and they can't all just sit down and do the work like this and they do need breaks and they need outdoor space. Yeah, lots it's of just, outdoor space, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, they're outdoors a lot, yeah. Do they do classes, classes outdoors as well, like the actual classes? Yeah. Oh, wow. Then their uniforms like basically a, a sports kit isn't it yeah they don't have like they don't have to have um smart sort of like leather shoes or anything they just wear their the you know their running trainers and um they don't have to get changed when it's their like physical education class or anything they're just you know out that's it cross country practice let's go you know it's yeah. <laughs> it's like that so and they're shorts less all year round isn't it yeah, shorts all year round, and that's so cool. That's so oh. cool. <laughs> I can see why kids would like it, and it definitely would be a change uh, going back and doing the education system in UK. I would assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot more much different. Testing, yeah, and and I get you know all those things are in place for <laughs> reasons, and but for. For us and for our children, I just felt it was too much pressure for them. It was too much pressure for us as a family. I mean, in the UK, the children were, all had homework, even Sonny when he first started at four. And we spent our evenings and our weekends like helping them with projects. And it's like, no, this, this really shouldn't be like this. Yeah, <laughs> family time is so important. And I can't have my, you know, five-year-old's or whatever feeling anxious about going to school because he you know hasn't done his spellings or something you know <laughs> yeah i so agree to that i do and and we in canada here there are more and more are starting to avoid doing uh like giving homework uh on an everyday basis um sometimes depending on the teacher they don't have homeworks as well at all or they have it uh once a week and they give it for the week so then you have your own time, you know, when you do it and how you do it. It just has a deadline, but you can choose, you know, uh, when you do it, which is much easier than having it, you know, for hours every day. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely. And I think that gives the children, um, like, they can learn to be, you know, self-motivated that way as well and, and clever about it because it's like, well, if, if this can be done in my own time and it doesn't have to be done till the end of term, well, I'm just going to do it now and then I can yes. chill. Yes. Or you can be um, less organized, maybe a bit more like me and leave it to the last minute and just do it all night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that's right i have good intentions but they don't always yeah. come true, <laughs> that's, true <isn't> it? <laughs> <laughs> that's true so you guys while well, you are there you are mostly uh so to say stationed uh around the town or uh for those who haven't seen your channel as much uh, where how far do you travel where do you go how how do you spend your time in new zealand uh -huh. We're about 20 minutes from the city centre. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we're near a, a place called Banks Peninsula, which was basically... Um, okay, I'm oh, showing the map, map yeah. now. So okay. basically that's like where there were some earthquakes. Bu, do you want to come and talk about the earthquakes? Yeah, so we, we're here most of the time. Um, and the holidays and the traveling has just been as much as we can when we can and saving for the next big one and stuff like that hasn't it mm. um but we've we've got plans for traveling for a long period of time around new zealand so we've just done all of the the south island just over the summer yeah 
So this big piece oh. here, the the round part where yeah. you've got Akaroa, that's Banks Peninsula. Oh wow, that's a volcano. That there. was a lots of uh, um, volcano eruptions. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Bu knows all this. And so basically, Littleton Harbour, which is in in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's like really pi pi picturesque. Oh, we do some good paddle boarding just around the corner there. Um, and do you are you still able to surf? Yeah. Um, did you see our latest video, the half bearded crazy gimbal review? <laughs> <laughs> uh, go and check that one out. And that's pretty much the village we live in. Everything you see in there is the village we live in. So we're like school is five minute walk and then another five minutes is the beach. So, and it's a lovely little surfing beach. And yeah. then over the hill is a really nice beach um, called Taylor's Mistake. And yeah. yeah, so we have a lot of our adventures and stuff is, met, you know, really around Christchurch. Um, other than the big one we did of the South Island, we did over the summer. Yeah. And um, we really want to go up to the North Island. So that's our next plan. But we'd also like to um, travel for a longer period of time and leave Christchurch. And, oh, my um, God. Right, yeah. <laughs> so it's, you know, this natural journey is really going to be going on a journey. <laughs> so, so you you saw our videos the um like our south island tour uh yeah i've seen a couple of your videos especially the later ones uh, i was watching uh, some of them yes definitely good for those of you who haven't seen i just put the link in the chat so go check that out so basically we uh, about christmas just after christmas while we were away for christmas we went for 25 days around the whole of the south island i've got a map over here if i can Turn it round. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> oh, yes, oh. Yeah. A big old road map. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. That's the best way. <laughs> yeah. All right. Can you see? Is that, it's it's yeah. not that great. No, because perfect. No, it's good. You good. can see it. So basically, this is where we are. <laughs> you should have one of those little lights. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> so basically, we went all the way down here and that's where we spent christmas day that's dunedin dunedin then we traveled all the way around here which is the catlins and invercargill then we went up to wanaka which is i think I, you saw one of those videos where i went paddle boarding lake wanaka which is here and then we went all the way back along here there's the fox glacier Fox Glacier is amazing. Yeah, that's the Up through to Westport. That whole West Coast is, is yeah, um, that's amazing. there's just like, there is not really much going on. You're not going to see a supermarket for just miles and oh, miles, yeah. but this, the drive and the scene, oh. it's just phenomenal. Everything looks like some sort of beautifully drawn artistic picture. The, mm. It's just mind blowing. Yeah. Wow. I wish I was on a plane going tonight. <laughs> and then, so then we're up at Westport, and then we went across to Nelson and Abel Tasman, and then we're back home. And then, so that was 25 days. Amazing. And I think we've done 13 videos so far, and I've got about two more to make. That's mm -hmm. cool. So, and um, we're just, we're doing this just in our van with a bell tent. <laughs> so we're, we're not even like, we can't even just sleep in the van. We just yeah. quick that's, hop out, stick the tent up. <laughs> that's the best way to travel. Yeah, that was, that was um, brilliant fun because obviously that was about a year after we'd moved. So obviously we had to settle in a little bit and find our feet. Mm. And then um, we planned like that big holiday. But also if you look into, look into our videos, we've actually got some videos of Fiji. Mm -hmm. Yes, we, yeah. we were like saved up really hard and we went to Fiji for two weeks, didn't we, in August? Yeah, I was kind of like, look, I've never done one of these holidays where you just go to a hotel on a resort and you put your kids into a club, you know, no <laughs> at all. Oh, 
Oh. I, I just felt so exhausted from the whole process of leaving family and friends, like emotionally exhausted. Yes. Physically exhausted, the whole thing. I was like, look, a margarita on a beach, the kids in a kid club, just <laughs> perfect right now. That's amazing. <laughs> You were, were <laughs> but they were with us loads. Yeah, they were with know, us loads. The thing is yeah, being, yeah. But it's awesome. nice to have that option just for a little yeah. bit. Yeah. What about you guys too? Mostly we like traveling as you've seen, like all of our trips. We like flying by the seat of our pants and the kids going, but it is something to have once in a while, just for a little bit of time that you can have some alone time to yeah. just pick up and like you yeah. see you a lot, so it was a good time to do it. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just dropped a link to your Fiji video, one of them, mm -hmm. <laughs> in the chat. If somebody's interested, and, beautiful. And we don't have that here. We don't have a support network. We've got no friends. Oh, we've no friends. We've got no family. We're making friends, yeah. but we don't have that. You know, yeah. babysitters and you know on tap mm -hmm. like we had we were blessed with in the uk and mm -hmm. um so yeah that holiday was just um good medicine for sure yeah. Yeah. It's a bit of a side question but what is it like making friends there do you find the people like pretty easy to oh, relationships are, are really really lovely you know yeah. a lot because a lot of people have sort of been in the same shoes right yeah we've met lots of people from you know that have emigrated as well but just like kiwis in general are just mm. so friendly they're so yeah. welcoming and they all want us to they're all like oh you stay in yeah <laughs> you know oh yeah yeah just they want like, you to um, stay going oh. opening a bank account and the person you'd be dealing with in the bank would be you know because they clearly know that you're opening an account because you've just come to the country and they're like oh welcome to new zealand we're so glad you're here and yeah. um, and you're like what <laughs> yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> but yeah really friendly and making friends is easy when you've got children right uh, but you know it's um it's still quite hard i think as as an adult friendships are built over a long time and yes. that's why i was wondering i know people are very very friendly they're renowned for it but that's one thing to go as a visitor or go short term versus trying to build like you know tight bonds with people and stuff like yeah that. yeah they they take time don't they you, yeah you, you yeah. can't um you know that's one of the hard things about about what we've done is leaving especially for joe leaving um really good friends behind mm -hmm. we've made some really fantastic friends you know like who've you know the kids grown up together or half mm -hmm. grown up actually. and you know lots of tears and stuff when we left bournemouth Mm -hmm. you know, from from the grandparents as well because you know yeah. <laughs> grandchildren away you know but like joe said you know we never said it was anything's fixed that it's all definite and that's the be all and end all right life is an adventure life is a journey you know you never know what's going to happen tomorrow or you know next year so just you know no regrets yeah. Well, the, yeah, it's taking the bull by the horns and just seeing where it goes. I mean, there's a lot to be said for that in life because there is only one life to live. And the other part is to hold on to those bonds and pass up an opportunity that might, you know, there's there's a, there's always going to be a gamble, but you got to put your money where you feel it's right to go. Definitely, definitely. And, you know, and I feel there's so much that I want to do for myself. Mm. But I The children grow up so fast that I don't want, to miss that you know um you know i'm a very keen surfer but i don't want to be going off surfing every day after work right. or every weekend and missing them grow up you know well them um resenting surfing because it takes their dad away from them so we have our time where we do that of course you know and um and we do that together and, and, and it's another opportunity that we wouldn't didn't have in Bournemouth. They have surf in Bournemouth and but not in the summer. It's all in the winter, which is which is fine, you know, it's cold, um, similar to here. But there's surf all through the summer here, so it's great. You know, the children are all starting to stand up and surf on their surfboards and stuff yeah, like that. Amazing. It's all, you know, opportunities that, that we didn't have at, at home. You know, back in England we had a really nice um VW camper van. Yeah. I mean, go down to the beach, you know, and have like picnics and barbecues and stuff like that, like after school on a Friday and at the weekend. And, you know, 
and Bu used to just love it, didn't he? Yeah, in the sea the and stuff like that, yeah. you know. So we just knew that bringing them over here and having the sea, like literally, like Joe said, it's a ten minute walk or it's a three minute drive or five minutes on your bike, and we're, we're at a surfing beach where you know we can, you know, it's a safe beach as well. Well, it's fairly safe. Right. That's amazing. And then you can do all of those things together. Like yeah, I said, the it. surfing, you know, it's oh. a little bit of patience and so much more rewards afterwards. <laughs> like instead of you to getting do. to go every two days by yourself, the reward of getting to a sun by yourself, which is very important, but yeah. also then the reward of seeing your kids now kind of following and not resenting what you do, but actually maybe we'll participate into it. Yeah. And, together more. and definitely. just like, and being able to just, um, <laughs> having the time to to have that more I think and creating more opportunities creating more time because the children they just grow up so fast yeah it's just this little snapshot and we just want to be part of that snapshot <laughs> as much as we mm. can and I think we were kind of losing that a little bit in England mm. it was just too much too much going on and um yeah so it was quite nice to just we step away from that a little bit and you know gather up team talk <laughs> kind of thing my yeah. oldest son i always say i can remember him do wanting me to do stuff with him then i remember him taking the car out and now he's 20 and living on his own and i don't know how it ever happened like i <laughs> Oh, yeah. He's in the car and so she's going to tell me, Andrew, he's a real man. You can't keep telling him what to do. You know, and I don't want him because he's always, we're all the same. We're never going to be like our parents. We're always going to know better. Yeah. But it's so hard to let, you know, and I don't nag him all the time, but there's still those little things I say now and then because it's just, it's hard to let go because I haven't accepted yeah. the fact that he's gotten to that point. Yeah. yeah. It's hard. <laughs> Really, yeah. We say to the children every birthday, like, can can you just stay this age? Is that okay? Can you stop growing? Like, yeah, like, I know it's your ninth birthday, but would you mind just saying eight? Like, <laughs> Not asking for much here, just a little bit of cooperation on your side, you know, just hold your <laughs> Yeah, and uh, we definitely get what you're saying about uh, not having the network, so to say. Like when we, uh, well, first when I moved here to Canada, I mean, it was 8,000, 800,000 kilometers away from where we originally were living. And uh, as well, we were taking away uh, our, uh, our middle one was born and, and was growing up the first year there. So it was yeah. a hard uh, change for me, I think, more and for my parents and family because we were for so far away, you know. And then when we moved to Saskatchewan, uh, we didn't have anybody like uh, at all. Like it also yeah. was 4,000 kilometers away yeah. from any family and friends. So it kind of can relate to what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, you know? hey, guys have been through it all as well. So yeah, it's uh... <laughs> like when they first came, when we first went to Saskatchewan, I went back to truck driving. I was hauling crude oil and I hadn't done it in 11 years. I had never been to Saskatchewan. It was the only province I had never seen. And it was like going to Mars and she landed in literally two days. I had to go back to work and mm -hmm. she had to celebrate her first Halloween without ever doing it in her life, you know, and taking Chris out and like yeah. trying to figure out how to put Halloween together on icy roads. And, <laughs> like I, you know. I, I knew what Halloween was, yeah, but we but never yeah. really did that. It's not part of our tradition. And and there it was month forty or something, mm -hmm. and it was yeah. Halloween that I never done before, and I felt like a penguin and, <laughs> 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 and knock on the people's doors. It was quite interesting culture <laughs> at the same time. Uh, what did you find the most culture shocking, so to say, when you first uh, arrived? Oh, a good question. Um, yeah, I do. I think I don't know. There's so the, much, and the thing is, it... there's shocking and not shocking because I think we didn't put those expectations there. So I think um, I, more, yeah, overwhelmed. I think I was always overwhelmed by how beautiful something was, or um, how lovely and friendly people were. Um, yeah. Oh. What can you think of? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just like when you go on holiday, everything's different. Like, you know, when you go in the supermarket, things are different. And we still got that sort of um, edge, like that things are different when you go anywhere, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of like being when you're on holiday. Yeah, which... I suppose like um, talking of food, sorry, um, prices of food, that was probably my biggest shock. I was like, how much why is a cucumber three dollars which is like probably about 
one pound eighty, um, whereas you'd get a cucumber for like forty pence in England. So I was like, yeah. oh my gosh, we're really gonna have to think about how many cucumbers we eat. <laughs> so it's much more expensive. The living in New Zealand more expensive in New Zealand for food, but some things, some things not. Um, I think quality. There's more quality food here. Um, I think. And yeah, I think the reason behind that is, you know, back in England, we watched a few TV programs. And I think the reason why food's cheap in England is because they because of the supermarkets, they screw down the, you know, the farmers and stuff on all their pricing and, and they yeah. and they bring all the prices down, which brings the quality down. So, you know, it's like whenever we went on holiday to France, because we used to go down to France quite a bit, down to Brit surfing and Hoss and go all down there in our camper van. Mm -hmm. thing and um and you know we always found the food expenses down there but yeah. it, 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 you get the you'd get the quality you know so mm -hmm. um, and also there's only just over four million people in new zealand so they're if they're getting something you know more exotic that they have to import like you know bananas or pineapples or something <laughs> it they're not buying them in bulk like the uk would so yeah. you know that it's you know mm -hmm. not a bit more right. fresh so to say and plus also isn't it harder to grow uh like vegetables on the land as well mm -hmm. um, what here in new zealand yeah. um i think they're probably more sustainable in that way that mm. they they do yeah i mean most um food and it's seasonal here you know it's seasonal. okay um so like where we live christchurch is in canterbury you know that things will be grown in Canterbury. What you're finding, you know, in the green grocers and the uh, markets and stuff, um, farmers markets, it's going to be grown locally. And okay. I mean, everywhere, just in the village that we live in, people have got lemon trees, lime trees, fajoa trees. There's mm. citrus trees everywhere. Um, mm. Apples galore, you know. And yeah, that's that was something really new to us. We're like gosh you know we can go and pick some limes from the garden next door and yeah. you know have a nice uh, rum and coke yeah, a, lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people have got their own little allotment in their you know that they grow all their veg in and stuff mm. in their gardens you know my boss at work he comes in and gives us you know some veggies and stuff like that yeah that he's got yeah and stuff, it's amazing so. Yeah, I think, you know, if when the, uh, the Third World War, we'd be all right over in New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, I think it's one of the safest. Well, it was, uh, you know, Australia and New Zealand was one of the safest places in, in the previous war. So I think it's going to be pretty, pretty safe. <laughs> um, definitely. I, I The more I talk with you, the more I want to go and live there. It sounds so <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, we'll anyone, make room for you. Anyone want to come over and do a collab? <laughs> um, no, because we, uh, after visiting Iceland um, <clears throat> for a couple of times, we we actually were seriously considering moving there, and because of and it's quite. Uh, I mean, yes, it's in a different part of the world, but it's quite similar of what you were talking about being so peaceful and and safe. Mm. And yes, it's expensive, the same as you're just talking about vegetables and import, but the feeling of that I got in Iceland, and I don't know, guys, if you have been in Iceland, if so, tell, tell us, uh, but it, it's, I've never felt anywhere else so peaceful and in peace within and outside than uh, I had felt in Iceland. And every time we go there, I do feel the same. And as you're talking about New Zealand, it makes me kind of think that it's the same way there. So, and it's warmer. <laughs> yeah. 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 When I, um, <laughs> I did some research for hopefully a video we're going to do in the future. Uh, basically we get um, 50 days uh, less rain here than we do in the UK. Mm -hmm. Just from like, I, we were checking it from like Bournemouth yeah. to, um, to Christchurch because obviously if you go yeah, yeah. north of Bournemouth because we were on the south coast, you know, there's a lot more rain and it's colder as you go up north. So we were mm -hmm. back yeah. in Harrison. But, yeah. but 50 days is a lot. Yeah, 50 <laughs> days is a lot and obviously a, a lot more sunshine and stuff like that. So, you know, that was another reason. Mm -hmm. for us to, to to come over and, and mood uh, is like the you know your mood is really affected i think by weather mm -hmm. um so it's definitely more of a feel good thing feel good factor, yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely yeah. 
and um, like the opportunities like the, the children have as well. They've done the Surf Life Saving Club, okay. which is basically like they're training the youngsters basically to be lifeguards. <laughs> yeah, I seen the video I think you had on, on that, didn't you? Yeah, but there's there's a couple of videos. Yeah, they're like the, yeah, the championship South and Canterbury champs. Um, I don't know. We might be able to get the children to come over and show you. Um, <laughs> show you show you some um, show you some stuff um, to do with that. But yeah, that's an opportunity that again that we wouldn't wouldn't have got in England um, mm -hmm. at all. Uh, the being part of the life saving club is awesome made some really good friends there really great community and um like the other day i'd come back from some training and and stuff like that so it's really nice that i can i can do that as well and you sort of says to me dad dad i'm gonna be a lifeguard just like you mm -hmm. so that's amazing inspiring them through through like my actions you know rather than just words these are Here go. these are my medals so this is the silver medal that i got last year wow um this one this one i got um yeah. last year wow and so some this of these one as well last year and were, this one last year yeah done very well for you <laughs> good job what did you have to do to get them uh i can't remember all of so them. You, got, oh here we go sky as well oh wow sky wow you got them too oh, amazing that's a gold one wow that's a lot that's amazing so many wow yeah. you both have so many of them they're very talented wow. so wow amazing that's so cool yeah <laughs> amazing <laughs> good job so so basically the children because i helped do a bit of coaching down there yeah um and the coach guys are awesome. Huntley's Views coach and Davy Jones is Sky's coach. So they both have done two full seasons now. Mm. Literally, it was something that we knew we wanted to do before we even, you know, arrived. Um, so we arrived in the September, and the season started beginning. Yeah, November. I think beginning it was. of November, yeah. which is their summer or our summer. Okay. <laughs> and, um, so confusing, confusing yeah. <laughs> so basically what what they do is they train to um skills to learn how to to be a to be a better lifeguard mm. which they don't know they're doing but yeah. they are so they do things like beach flags where they they lay on the floor and then they jump up and they have to sprint to the other side and grab like a like a pipe and basically that's to do with them getting up running to get their lifeguard float to then run into the water um and then they do like wading through the water in a race like they, how to run through water how to run through water um they do board paddling where they're on like the the rescue boards they have smaller ones for them and and stuff like that they do relay races wow so, so yeah it's lots of um you know they're, they're called athletes in which they are and they're you know they're learning amazing skills that will link them to being strong you know swimmers in the ocean and and they have like a real respect for the ocean and their awareness you know they're teaching them the rips and mm. things like that so yeah it's a it's a valuable skill and i think when we need that yeah <laughs> but That's yeah lots of team team um team team sports as well because obviously it's it's working been together fun, working together yeah. yeah wow that's amazing and, and again it's something that you can do together as well you know which which is so amazing going back to what we talked about kids growing up so fast 
to spend that time together too. And as you said, you know, I want to be a lifeguard, same as you, Dad. <laughs> That's <laughs> that must have sounded so amazing when it you was first really. heard it. <laughs> really nice when you said that. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's 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 so nice. <laughs> um, well, that's, yeah, go ahead. So that's because that's sort of you know I I I sort of put myself in there and I'm helping out with the groups and then they say oh you should do your lifeguard Matt so I do that <laughs> yeah. and then they say oh Matt you should do this and when you get asked to do things you know you feel like oh yeah I'll do that it's like you guys message me and said oh would you like to be a guest it's like yeah of course yeah. we would you know that'd be amazing whereas we probably would have never said oh yeah we'll uh i'll ask you oh we'll come on your show yeah you know, i think when I'm... you're asked it's you know it's really yeah. nice it's, to, yeah um... and it's you know you're full of respect and gratitude and you're honored mm. as well so yeah. it's a really a mm. nice feeling <laughs> yeah because again with the lifeguard and they've asked views doing the pool champs which is keeping fit through the winter in the in the swimming pool okay and then they asked me to do it as well so i was like oh okay <laughs> <laughs> i won't take it personal yeah so um, <laughs> but yeah that's that's so amazing i i really love it and i love and i can feel from you when you talk the uh, I, uh, how to describe the slower pace of life mm -hmm. that i think i miss in Ca canada from where I originally come from, because um, like where, where I grew up, I mean, everybody's hustling anyway. And I think probably like Iceland, New Zealand, places like that are more even slow, slower in a good way than, than where I come from. But here I, I find everybody, and as you said in UK too, is a lot of hassle and, you know, running around. There are so many things to do. It's always running, always time, always like, always running there's always something and there is very little time to just you know sit back and, and enjoy life or kids like like be mindful about where and how you are the mindfulness is what missing missing i think in all that hassle of life and uh i when i talk with you guys i can hear it coming through you you know mm -hmm. that mm -hmm that mindfulness that that peace within and 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 enjoying the life and i i uh, yeah i thank you for sharing that with us because you can really feel it going through the screen from you and it's something you really have to learn though that doesn't it doesn't come naturally and you know we're from a seaside town which you know in comparison to a city like london or even southampton it was you know still a slower way of life and it's not for everyone, you know, some people thrive and just love being in the heat of everything and that's great, but yeah. we, we knew we wanted to get slower and slower. So, yeah. Um, and yeah, and just, you know, like it is like you said, everyone's just on such a fast pace that you just know you're gonna miss something and I just don't, I don't wanna miss anything. <laughs> I wanna be really present and, um, and and learn, yeah, it's a skill to learn, definitely. Like you have to just stop for a minute and just touch base with yourself sometimes and just go, how am I feeling right now? You know, it's- um, Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. Yeah. I, I agree, I agree. And But I also think that environment has to do a lot of that too. You know, sometimes we're just uh, uh, forced to be that way, although inside of, you know, it's hard to do the inside mindfulness when the outside world is a hassle sometimes. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it can, it's, yeah, it can be found, but it, it takes a lot of, um, yeah, yeah. Good discipline. You, you know, like, uh, I've seen some of those, vi uh, your videos, uh, you're doing yoga? Yeah, we do yoga. Um, we're not, you know, we're not doing handstands and <laughs> no. <laughs> um, yeah, we we tried to have a our own practice that we you know that we do and um, we do meditation and yeah we just do a little bit of everything like to journal and yeah well um, you got given a book when he was born so ten years ago and it took me ten years to read it. <laughs> I actually finished reading it <laughs> in um in Fiji and I've never been much of a reader when I was at school I was a member of supply teacher saying 
if you don't get any good grades, you won't get a job where you can sit on your backside. And I thought, well, I don't want to sit on my backside. You know, I want to work with my hands. So that didn't yeah. really inspire me. So that really didn't help me in not reading books. So anyway, I read this book that Joe just showed you. And then since then, I've been reading lots of, I suppose you call them self-help books. Oh. And, um, and I think the guy, Zach, was it on the stream the other day? Because I was listening while I was driving and Joe oh, was commenting. Think share. Think share was yes, on, yeah. Yes, was talking about that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, you know, Joe read The Miracle Morning. Yeah. And the four hour work week and all those kind of things. And they're quite inspiring. So, you know, for me, you know, I do quite a few hours at work and stuff like that and, and trying to find time to create our YouTube channel and do all these things was like, well, this, you know, this is quite cool. This is quite handy. So, you know, I, I now get up at five o'clock in the morning, every morning, and mm. I do a bit of yoga. I do a bit of meditation, I do a bit of writing, you know, scribing, and then I spend an hour editing my video before I go off to work to start work at seven o'clock in the morning. Wow. That's amazing. So that's, that's, that's my miracle <laughs> morning. And, and I'm in bed, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in bed going, yeah, yeah. You, you're doing great. Yeah. <laughs> you're um, encouraging. <laughs> you just bring me a cup of tea. Yeah, don't, just don't wake your children up, is basically. Yeah, shh, shh. Where's my tea? <laughs> Don't wake the children up. But I will say it does feel good that you've done something for yourself mm -hmm. before you go off and, you know, like everybody goes off and does their daily thing and then they get home and they're tired and they're like, oh, I haven't got time to do this. I haven't got time to do this. So, if, you know, the basically, for me, the concept of the Miracle Morning, like Joe says, the lifesavers. So if you want to get fit or exercise or like me create a youtube channel you use that time so basically he says you know use your th first 30 days to to you know find out what it what your goals are and then you decide well how am i going to achieve those goals and then you use you know a mo big majority of that time to achieve your goals and you know i come home from work and i've already like you know, achieve something before I went to work, and then if I want to carry on when the children go to bed, mm. then then I do, because I'm sure you've seen that I put quite a bit of effort into our videos. <laughs> yeah. like, I think there's like and an, that's full. Yeah. That's an understatement, yeah. exactly. <laughs> there's a lot of work in it. I'm just the spell checker and <laughs> and the oh that that's great. Or can you make sure no one can see my bottom, please, or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you guys put a lot of work in your videos and you also have like all the social uh, media yes. as well, you know, Instagram and you gotta Facebook really running and, a good uh, network to that. And you're quite uh, constant. Oh posting on all on all of them i don't know how you guys do it i'm so bad at that if i if i focus on one i kind of i can't do the rest and, and because uh, yeah i i still trying to find the balance of how to do all of them at the same time it's really hard i we yeah, yeah we it's a team effort joe's had her instagram going for quite a while i've actually got an instagram as well mm -hmm. but my phone um has gone into safe mode because i because <laughs> i broke it Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my boss might be watching <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so so joe's mm -hmm. joe's instagram mainly and i'm and facebook but i don't facebook. do that much of the facebook yeah well because you don't get a lot of response so you feel y yeah and which yeah, you know you've got to, yeah <laughs> and then i'm recently gone on to twitter mm -hmm. and obviously the youtube is like both of us together but um obviously i do the editing and stuff like that so, yeah, that's great you have team uh, you know doing that it's, uh, i find it's easier for us to in a way uh, that's right <laughs> nice it is easier uh, when there are two of us like for example doing live stream because uh i've done a couple of these now alone like or almost alone but the, the first one i didn't know what to do because we're team you know i'm more on the chat and andrew is more talking and doing all the technical stuff and i wasn't so used to it 
And so it's definitely easier when you can rely on somebody doing the other parts too. We still got to figure out the social channel, the social media stuff, uh, how to do all of them. Or uh, maybe I should give Andrew the Twitter or something. <laughs> No. No, no. None of, like none of the YouTube or anything, you know, we, we never expected to, we didn't really know or have a goal or where it was going to go or anything. We just, you know, at, at that point we were just like, we just want to share some of our adventures of New Zealand and, um, you know, a, a good way to keep the story going for our family and friends and also as memory for us because it's wonderful to look back at like when we were in Singapore which was our stop off to New Zealand and we listened to Sky talking and we're like oh you sound ever so posh you know <laughs> she sounds like proper English and now she's got like this little Kiwi accent going and it's like oh my gosh you know without those things they're almost like a record of the children growing up in the memory yes and even going into vlogs, like I'm just, I'm just really that awkward person in front of a camera, you know, where like I hide behind someone or I'm really conscious or aware of things. And um, so it's growing that confidence. But I think the more we grow the confidence and we're like, actually, we've got so much to share. It, we don't want it to be just about, you know, the vlogs. We want it to to go into lots of directions and and appeal to lots of people you know whether that's inspiring people to hey yeah go for a slower pace of life make that change go and emigrate it doesn't have to be forever just go and experience something different for a few years or or maybe you know someone feels like hey you know i'm inspired by uh your diet changes can you you know help me there or something it's it's a platform for inspiration and we've been inspired by you know so many people and mm. yourselves and people that we're meeting through this network and community um it's yeah it's quite exciting really yeah yeah so uh, what is uh, your future for the channel is focusing more on the inspirational um uh, motivational videos as well is that what you're saying um, yeah i think once we've got like more of the confidence. Matt says that I should talk more about like things, but yeah, when I get the confidence to actually sit in front of a camera and <laughs> you did so well today. You were like you are talking about all these things that I was asking, and I was thinking in my head, oh, she really knows what she's talking about. <laughs> Matt says all the time, you really know what you're she talking about. She does know um, what she's talking about. She does a lot of research on anything that she's interested in. Yeah. She wants to know what, so that, you know, she can spread awareness or help other people, you know, who who ask her a question about something. If Joe doesn't know the answer, she won't mm. make something up. She'll, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, I find don't out. sugarcoat anything. I'm always very honest, and yeah. that can you, get me I agree off. with your husband. You should do that. I think you're yeah. just perfect for yeah. that. I would be all on it too. I would be listening. Oh, I'm just my worst like critique. I just yeah. criticize myself all the time. I'm like, oh my god, my teeth. Oh, look, I look really funny. I sound really odd, mm. <laughs> like terrible. Well, it's not very good. I should be completely. Yeah. Um, you know, I always talk about self love and looking after yourself and and that i should really well i think we are, we are women especially women us i think are more self-conscious in front of the uh, camera like us uh, doing photography and video more work we weren't so used to being in front of lens and look you know like also at the beginning was oh my god my hair looks so awful i don't have makeup on and like yeah. you know, uh but then as it because we're doing these almost every day it's like well okay i'm cold that's fine it doesn't matter it doesn't you know like it, i got less and less because i got more used to it i i think the more the more you do it the less stressful it is it is a little bit you know nerving in the beginning still uh yeah. but but i think you just get used to it because i like two months ago somebody would have told us that we're doing lives or like forget about it you know yeah. no no we're on the other side of the land uh, so you never know. And, uh, <laughs> I, I think there's a future for you that is there too. <laughs> yeah, we definitely want to bring that into into the channel. Definitely, and we, you know, we are creating goals. We're having more confidence and more um, 
ideas and stuff we want to do we don't you know we don't want to we, d we just want to keep traveling we don't want to stay like stationary and this is it and just go from sort of one rat race to another we yeah we just gotta you know stay on the right pace we've got you know one thing at a time we've got to get our visas right so that we've got more flexibility in this country and um yeah we're quite inspired on maybe traveling or like you know making a bus into our home oh, um, that would be amazing yeah and then you know touring new zealand properly and homeschooling has always appealed to me um and again you know it's it's not forever you know it's mm. it's something that we might do for a year maybe two years um would quite like to maybe go to bali for a while mm. um we're also you know when we went to fiji and we spent some time in some of the villages and you know we'd love to do work like that you know go to other countries and as an aid and support yeah, villages definitely. and help be part of that and give that mm. experience to the children as well so we kind of kind of want to do a bit of everything and then start bringing it into the channel and if people want to watch that sort of thing and yeah. well next year we're heading back to the uk for um for a couple of months oh because we've got a wedding so um my beautiful niece is getting married so she won't be watching <laughs> but i'll make her watch now hey Roxy. <laughs> Roxy <and Matthew> you. <laughs> so yeah we'll be heading back there for a couple of months so we'll be you know that'll be quite an experience going back to and how oh I'm my saying. god definitely yeah, and, and I think by that point we really need that because it will be a really, be a it will really confirm how we feel because you're just so split. You know, I just adore my mum and just miss her terribly, and some of my really close friends. It's you get really homesick, and um, you know, you just kind of want a little bit of both. It's like mm -hmm. I want them, I want them to be enough for me to stay, but mm -hmm. you've, got, you've tasted something else and it pulls you back and. Yeah, it is hard. And from my own experience, uh, when we uh, first time when I went back after a couple of years being here, uh, back to Latvia, I find it uh, it was different. It it uh, it almost uh, it it, fe it felt weird. It felt str as strange almost. And then the second time when we went there a year after the first time, I felt like a tourist in my own country. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might feel like that actually. I and think. I, uh, I, I was upset about that at first because yeah. I'm like I've been living here for most of my life, you know, and studying and you know everything. It was there, but I don't know. It's just uh, the feeling. I think the country and the people they change with you, right? But you kind of when you emigrate somewhere, you kind of freeze them in time. And then when you're back, uh, you expect that they're going to be the same way. Everything is going to be the same, but it's not. It has been changing the same way as you have, right? Yeah. So yeah. that dissonance between what you expected being the same way as you left it and what you find now, because it has grown, it, it did estrange me. And then afterwards, it made me feel like a tourist. And now, like years after, uh, it's been 10 years I'm here in, in Canada. When we go back now, I, I really feel more like, like a tourist like in a, in a different country yes i still know it it's my country and my birth country but i don't feel like um i'm at home at all there you know yeah. it's it's a strange yeah, feeling where you're meant to be as well though i think that probably confirms that um, sorry that probably confirms where you feel you know maybe your heart really is or where you should be as mm. well when yeah, you... I think it took a long while. Like I, I think up until last year, probably I really felt not home anymore in Latvia and not really here. Although my family's here, my kids, you know, my husband, uh, I felt somewhere in the middle because you yeah. know <clears throat> it takes a long while to assimilate in the country. Yes, you get friends, you start work, and all that is there, but to really. Uh, have the understanding of this different culture and like the like the whole cultural assimilation and i, I just didn't feel it as, um, i guess so i was not there and not here either somewhere in the middle you know and i i think i'm more now here uh but it's still not completely there yet and i sometimes wonder if people who emigrate into places do actually ever get that feeling back mm -hmm. As I want complete belonging to the place where they newly have emigrated. 
Yeah, because my um, my dad um, he lives in Toronto. Oh, and, um, he's been out there probably almost forty years now, and yeah, I have a different kind of appreciation for for how he must feel. Like you're describing, you know, when he comes back to the UK, he he does always feel, you know, huge um, connections with the UK and he always talks about like how it was, but that's just how he knew it. And um, yeah, he, he can get quite upset, can't he, when he, you know, mm. talks about stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And um, and he also would always talk about coming back to England at some time, at some point. And now we're like, we're in New Zealand. I'm like, hey, just come to New Zealand. <laughs> You're even further now away than before. Yeah. That must be hard yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. And I often wonder that. That's why I like, you know, when you said you're going back, I do wonder if we ever get, uh, and, and if anybody in the chat or after watching can chime in on that, if people who have immigrated in their adult life have ever felt like home, like actual home. Mm -hmm. In, in their new place. I just really wonder sometimes. It, <laughs> or maybe it's just me, the weird one. <laughs> and home is really a really funny definition as well because, you know, I've always, as long as I'm with my family, yeah. my children and, you know, my husband, then that's home and not to be too connected to just, you know, a house or something or. No, but like even the plane in general. Yeah, yeah. No, I understand what you get. And yes, yeah. so home is where the family is for sure. But uh, just the closeness of it, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, is there anything else that you wanted to add that I haven't asked you? And I could have asked you probably 10 more questions about food and New Zealand. There's so like big subjects to talk about. So we'll have to have you back again. But uh, is there anything that I haven't asked you that you wanted to talk about or, or say before uh, we let you go? Uh, well, I just wanted to say, like, well, thank you so much for inviting us and to everyone who's come to the chat to chat. <laughs> um, and, yeah, just all the connections that we're making um, and, and TriStar Travelers, that we, we made a connection with them, first of all, which has kind of brought us into this direction. And, um, yeah, we're just really grateful for, for all of that. Mm. And, yeah yeah definitely definitely thank you so much for agreeing to to come on our uh show no <laughs> i problem. was really excited to have you on you know my my old joke about back to the future i still can't oh. believe you're in saturday and i'm here in friday yeah, we've, we've done friday <laughs> <laughs> how, how is the saturday there it's good. Like, i don't know if i can do this if i can show you if, if you can see oh, oh my god. god so that's where we live can, is that all right so these are the hills around us it goes oh. all the way around wow yeah and we've had to draw the curtains there because it's so sunny yes yeah i could see on the side of your face a while ago we were completely yeah. it's just like and the sky is so blue. Wow. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, that's why I was asking whether we could go mobile, because I was going to take you for a walk. There you go. Can you see out the door? <laughs> wow. So, and that's basically yeah. all, all the way around where we live. We're in, like, a little valley. Wow. And, um, yeah, it's really nice. And it's 20 past, almost 20 past two. Yeah. Saturday the 19th. Mm, it's it's not crazy. Seeing into the future. Well, right? Saturday seems like a great day, so I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, I want to give my deepest apologies tonight. Sorry I'm in and out. You know I'm a fan of your channel. It's been a while now. Uh, yeah, it's so good. Uh, yeah. I will definitely watch the replay, my own replay. Yeah, yeah make sure you catch that. Thank you so much for coming on tonight. Uh, I, I, it's so nice to have a great channel like you guys is on. It's really, truly appreciated. Thank you for your time. Thank oh, you. Thanks for calling us a great channel. I'm, yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I'm really like, I'm like, wow, people actually want to watch it. <laughs> the, the, oh, the, one of the things about as well, we still to this day can't understand how things worked out the way they did. I mean, it's uh, yeah. shocking is probably a better word than anything, you know, such. So 
and you just put on your you do your best and if people like it they come so i think that the proof is in there so like so with you guys so you know just keep on going you're on the right track panic um, video says what are the lottery numbers i guess they want to move to new zealand too <laughs> they're in states so. they're in the future so they can get the numbers for them yes that's true yeah <laughs> <laughs> very good point how that works I, I, coming uh it was very it was amazing and uh, i still have 25 questions but so we'll have to have you back yes uh it was really nice having you uh and I, I again the 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 peace and and mindfulness that i feel from you i i really i think that's what i'm taking from this <laughs> live stream i i really appreciate that you you reflect that through the screen uh thank cool. you so much Thank you. Cool. <laughs> Just want to say thanks to all our supporters. Um, you know, your, your comments and that on our videos just help inspire me to carry on making content, basically. <laughs> and waking up early. And <laughs> <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It feels good eh, when somebody really gets what you're doing. Yeah. And yeah. I found some amazing channels through, obviously, through hashtag I'm a creator. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like AJ and yes, Ace Buds and and Brothers June and, oh, and there's, yeah, there's loads. And it's and also made me look at smaller YouTube channels that I've found like got a comment in. I've you know, like I've I've started doing on Twitter my three favorite videos of the week. Mm. This week I've got three favorite videos, and none of them are part of I'm a creator. Okay. Two of them have got less than a hundred subscribers and they're videos are really good you know one's a vlogging guy he's a young guy i think in canada mm. um, he's a vegan and um he's a vegan yeah he's like vegan. <laughs> but you know and then there's another young lady i think she's english and she's done some traveling videos nice. and you know she, she's got less than 50 i think they've both got less than 50 subscribers and wow. you know you know it's we need to help each other yeah by sharing each other's content because it's just so so much out there and yeah. just can't find so find it you know so i feel that you know if i can help other small channels because i like their content why shouldn't i share it you know that was the whole point of why we started what we're doing here was if we're going to do a live stream because we had no intentions on to it if we if this seems to be doing okay what do we do with it that we actually feel makes it because i put a lot of my cinematic stuff and i didn't want the live stream to be just like sitting on a couch complaining about the weather <laughs> neither had to have a point to it or it wasn't worth doing then it just feels like you're going for time you know not and that's when we started like having people on at first too because we were kind of nervous we didn't have enough to say yeah and we realized this was a great trade-off with everybody because we truly believe once you've sat down and seen somebody for an hour and a half talk about themselves You'll never look at their channel or them the same way again. Mm -hmm. yeah. You'll get better comments, better followers, more dedication over time. More personal connection. Yes. Channel. Then just like I'm going to sub you, you sub me, and let's go on to the next, and maybe I'll catch every 12th video. You know. Yeah. No, it's a really wonderful thing you guys are doing. I think it's it's really awesome. Yeah. Well, it's like you guys finding new channels. It's like yeah, there's so many layers to everybody, and the more you can peel away, the more you walk away enjoying it. You know. So. Yeah. Yeah. You want to bring up Musky Hans, you know, the, the famous fishing guy from Wisconsin who has a PhD who nobody knew about. Yeah. You know, and biker bushcraft who is, um, uh, you know, a rough, tough looking guy, and he's a complete romantic. Like, right? <laughs> that ordered 40, ordered 40 lobsters to come from Maine to California for his wife's 40th birthday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's such amazing stuff that otherwise we wouldn't know no, just by watching uh, people's videos. So that's the part that we love yeah. so much is just. Yeah. Covering all these things. We say it's like at first you meet by like sh exchanging business cards. Where are your first business? <laughs> where you get to sit down and yeah. talk. <laughs> it's such a lovely way to share, isn't it? And as you know, as human beings, we're just such social creatures. It's almost like almost the best way to do it because you're just interacting and you're all part of something rather than just watching or which, which is you know fantastic in itself and you're showcasing something and entertaining but to be able to do something like this is really quite special and unique so yeah, yes. thank you doing it. and thank and you, you for sharing your special, story so thank you yes yeah. thank you for sharing your story it was quite yeah. amazing again i have still questions but we'll get to back to <laughs> it <laughs> Do another. do another, I reckon, in like, I don't know, 
two, three months. Whenever you have us again. Oh, <laughs> yes, perfect. You're perfect. definitely coming back on. So you are you're, definitely. You're, you're in the <laughs> we can't get. We wouldn't get rid of you if we could. So yeah, <laughs> we're, happy to, we're happy to be paired with channels like you guys. This is what makes us mm. better too. We all. Yeah. Cool. Exactly. Well, thank you so much, and uh, say thank you to your beautiful children as well again for yeah. your for the yeah. amazing. Yeah. Want to say goodbye? Sure. Oh, they're, yeah. come, they're gonna come and say goodbye. Perfect. Definitely. Yeah. The welcoming dance was so amazing, and well, yeah. even the surprise bit too that the parents weren't aware of. So that's. Uh, hey. Hey. Who are you? That's my husband. They yeah, don't know see, who you are. I threw you off your game, eh? Bye. You want to call me? Bye-bye. 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 Thank you again, guys, for the uh, introduction. The skies is coming. Yeah. Amazing kids. Lots oh, of medals. So cool. uh, oh. Bye, Skaya. Thank you so much for introduction, and thank you for showing your medals. <laughs> You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show. Did you have a good time? Do you have a good time? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, we had a great time having you here. So thank you so much. She loves doing any of the singing and dancing. Oh, I love it. The smile, yeah. She always... you light up a room when you smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, from, they're very good assets. To yeah. the <laughs> What do you want her to do now? <laughs> I got mine with I got mine with a roller painting right now. Like a roller. Perfect. Busted in a work <laughs> Cool. Well, we let you go. Yeah. <laughs> it was such a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. No worries. Thank you to everyone in the chat and um... have a great Saturday night. <laughs> oh, yeah. See you in the chat on Monday or yes. whatever. Tuesday. Monday, we're off out in the sunshine. Uh, Saturday, tomorrow, well, for you Sunday, so for our Saturday, for your Sunday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're off into the sunshine now, and um, yes. and have a good sleep. Bye. Look at that, girl. That's a good screenshot. I did perfect Bye bye. Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Oh, Such that was show. amazing. Yes, yeah. I know. It was so many questions. I, I wanted to know best recipes uh, that you make. Starting in the morning like he does before work and all that. Like, doing the whole great. Oh, yes. Uh, I, and, I mean, I New, Zeal uh, and New Zealand. Now I want to move to New Zealand. Yeah, I know. I do. Iceland is still in the back of my head now, too. But I, I don't know, because now we've done Iceland. New Zealand's that no, frontier. for traveling for yeah. sure, but to moving, like she uh, <laughs> talking about moving and emigrating and all that, brought yeah. back uh, the you know how we how I came here and and all the moving from Saskatchewan back and forth, but also like how we thought of moving to Iceland and yeah. like kind of all that feeling uh, definitely refreshed in my mind. Yeah, yeah. the energy and peace, the peace. As I said before. Sorry. Yeah, it was uh, the peace and mindfulness of of this family. Just you know, it just shines through the this the screen, and uh, I think it's it's very hard to find it nowadays to have that. Um, it takes guts. It takes courage. I mean, that's just the same language and stuff like that. But you're like, I mean, you've gone to the other side and down under. Mm -hmm. I, I love that kind of adventurous thrill to them. Like you know, it's. Yeah, and they have done quite a change uh, of their life in a short period of time, you know, uh, changing their lifestyle um, altogether and, and then changing their life altogether, you know, with moving uh, such a long distance from home. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely a lot to learn there. And for you guys who haven't seen uh, this Natural Journey uh, videos, uh, please go and watch them. There's amazing videos from New Zealand. Um, it also documents their journey from changing their life um, and, uh, and their lifestyle. Um, beautifully done videos. Um, you definitely can see a lot of work uh, put in them. Um, great content, great quality content. Please go and check that out. And thank you for guys for being here. And uh, was oh sorry, Jim Apple, I didn't see a question about when you're in the United States, do you feel we are driving? Well, Andrew can talk about the other way around. When you went to UK, did you 
field we were running? For the first 20 minutes, and then that passes. And then you get one or two times, it kind of hits you, and then mm -hmm. I was more worried about it than what it really was. And I even drove standard the first time in Ireland. I drove uh, automatic, but when I got to Scotland, I had a, a Mini, and uh, it was standard. And I'm a try. I was truck driver and stuff like that, and I don't drive standard all the time. So I think it was easier to get used to because I don't do it all the time. But I think for people who drove standard like every day, yeah, I think that would be a bit weirder. Their hands would always be going for like the right side. Mm -hmm. So it's probably the yeah. same other way around. So sorry, I didn't see it in time. And Panic D, thank you so much. Nice seeing them. I love coming on here and seeing oh, the world. Oh, so sorry, guys. I'm sorry, it's been a long day. And uh, on here and seeing the world. Hats off to Push and Spheres for doing this. Thank you so much. Uh, must have been quite a culture shock yeah. to move from UK to New Zealand. Yes, and uh, that's what we were Definitely. talking about together. Uh, although it's the same language, and like, <clears throat> it, it, it's, it's different like that's what i was talking about but we quite relate to that um because i immigrated from latvia to canada almost 10 years ago now and it is a culture shock um it is definitely a culture shock and it takes time but um you know i i think uh they were right saying that they're home is where your family is for sure um it definitely makes you look at things differently that's 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 i can say <laughs> um hi susie uh we had a guest this natural journey uh, amazing guest from new zealand uh, they were in saturday they are still in saturday and we are still in friday uh, so we traveled back to the future a little bit uh if you miss them uh go check them out uh go check the our video once it's uploading uploaded up uh, it was really a nice conversation about different lifestyles about changing lifestyles uh from uh, meat eaters to vegans um starting the juicing uh, at the beginning of their journey and now uh about moving from uk to new zealand that's what our family was about very peaceful very inspiring uh family uh, definitely go check out our live stream afterwards and go check and subscribe if you haven't to their channel um and um oh thank you tithro thank you so much um and i i glad to see that you guys are connecting i see tony has connected with panic d you gotta apply to be their pet their um para peep i can't show you because we're not in the living room we're in the kitchen now but uh, hashtag para peeps you gotta become their para peep and then you can win things like tickets from the world fair that we got last week yay um Thank you so much for sticking uh, out with us. Uh, for those of you who guys uh, who uh, were here right from the beginning, and uh, thank you for coming in. Uh, for those of you who just popped in, we're going to be here tomorrow evening, as usually on Saturdays as well, at 8 p.m. Eastern with Good Cell Life as our guest tomorrow. And if mm. you can't catch us tomorrow, we're going to be back on Monday, every day from Monday to Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a date, folks. Have a great long weekend in yep. uh, Canada and uh, a weekend uh, wherever you are. Hopefully, it's good for you. It looks like Saturday is great uh, yeah. in New Zealand. <laughs> That's right. so it looks like it's going to be a great Saturday for us to um, love you all, keep creating, and see you tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Thank you for coming. <laughs>